Hello! Welcome, everybody! Welcome to the stream! I have some announcements to make. We're gonna have a lot of fun here. You're not late, Afri. I appreciate you. I appreciate all of you guys for being here on time, because I sure wasn't. Well, I mean, I mean, I was, but I was setting some stuff up behind the scenes. I hope you guys have had a, a good afternoon. Now, a uh, couple things to, just to get started, just for you guys who, who are here a little bit early. We got 200 in. Everyone's kind of coming in right now. But uh, I'll mention this periodically throughout the stream. However, I did want to say that, you know, I promised that I would be doing the minigame mode as well. But then I thought to myself, I'm like, you guys have already seen me go through the minigames a lot, right? You guys uh, had already watched me go through the minigames, and I'm thinking to myself, I kind of want to see you guys go through some of the minigames as well, with me. So, I decided that tomorrow's stream, at the same time here, 1pm, is going to be the first ever Zyken chat where we will be playing the game together. I will be controlling one player and you guys will be controlling two player. So I have a YouTube chat integration set up for tomorrow's stream where there will be a list of commands in the description that you will be able to type into the chat and all of you guys in an anarchy fashion will be able to control the same character. This has been done before. This has been done before, other, other people have done it. I haven't really seen people do it for Mario Party all that much and I have had chat face themselves before as well, right? But this is gonna be the first time you guys are gonna, you know, actually be playing with me. Now, the reason why it's important to specify you guys are gonna be playing with me is because I need to train you guys, all right? <laughs> like, you guys, you guys need to get good at the minigames first, because I want to do a 2v2 game where both of us are playing against other CPUs that are probably set to a lower difficulty, and I want to play an eight-player game with you guys as well, but you guys gotta kind of get some experience with how the anarchy would work in a regular minigame scenario, so that's why we're gonna train tomorrow. Uh, at the end of the stream, it'll redirect you there, so make sure you watch to the end of this one. It'll redirect you, you can hit the bell, and everyone can have a fun time. Now the second thing is, I finished my Mario Party 7 Commandments like I said I would. I don't have the others ready yet, but uh, let me just read off the 7 Commandments. Now I'm going to go over these Commandments again once it's time to... Once it's time to play a board with everybody here involved. But uh, okay, so let's go over them one by one, alright? Alright, so here's the here, here are the Mario Party 7 Commandments. Now I, I want you guys to just kind of sit there and pray and like, listen to me as I say that. So number one... Number one, is thou shall never punch when jump kicks are available, all right? You never, you never punch when jump kicks are available. There is no instance in Mario Party 7 where punching is going to be better, all right? These are the commandments, you have to follow them, okay? Everyone understand that? Cool. Number two, thou shall prioritize placing orbs on the main route, okay? All right? Every single time I, I'm playing a game, everyone puts them after junctions. This is just identifying luck in a nutshell. You even have to watch the video, all right? You even have to give me the watch time. Number three, thou shall learn the star cycles. Okay, maybe that one you have to go to the video for. <laughs> that one are gonna be. Jump kicks are impossible in live stream chat. Oh, they will be possible. You'll find out. I have a setup. Don't worry. It'll be okay. Thank you, Jay Adams. Fan since 2019. Thanks for all the top tier videos. Thank you for the first super chat. And there was a... I think I got four bucks earlier for whatever. <laughs> yeah, commandment four. Super chat me. <laughs> all right, number four. Thou shall steal whenever given the option unless you aim to earn trust. Right? This is when you put down a pink boo. Don't ever be afraid of putting down a pink boo. Okay? We're fine. Number five. Thou shall always keep the bonus stars in thy mind. Alright? Too many times have I seen people just playing through a game. They don't know what bonus stars... You know, they have no clue what to do with them. Right? They think that we're still in the freaking 2000s. You guys are old farts. Alright? Coin star? Minigame star happening? What are those? You know? We got like six of them here. Number six. Speaking of which, thou shall only use pause strats against CPUs. You do not want to get smacked by your friend. I assure you, it's not fun. Don't do it. Number seven, thou shall not play Wario nor Waluigi. All right? Look, look, their orbs suck. I'm sorry. You guys saw what happened last time I played them. Didn't work out. Number eight, feel no guilt for throwing minigames unless you value your friends. Throwing minigames can be a valuable asset in making sure that you get ahead of everything. But if you value your friends, you probably shouldn't. Number nine, all mushrooms are high priority. All the mushrooms in this game are freaking amazing. Make sure you grab them whenever you can. Number 10, most important of all, whatever happens in Mario Party stays in Mario Party. If you and your friends are angry at each other, or if I'm angry at you chat and you chat are angry at me, we, we, we don't let that beef escalate beyond the stream, okay? Like next stream, we're all good, okay? Uh, that's all good. Minus the metal, no, no, the metal can be pretty good. The metal can be pretty good. <laughs> Some of you are saying seven is a rule breaker. Uh, I, I think you guys need to watch Identifying Luck again. <laughs> I think you guys need to watch Identifying Luck again. 
Thank you, Blue Blue. I appreciate you. And Emerald, fourth commandment fulfilled. I do. I forgot my own commandment. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> just steal. <laughs> All right. Now let's just hop into some Bowser's Enchanted Inferno. You guys won't be able to play this time around, but pay extra close attention to the kind of moves that you guys may be making. <laughs> All right. Now, I said I would be playing Yoshi this time around, and uh, that's a promise. Who do you guys want? Who, who do we fill up the CPU slots in? This is the last regular game of Mario Party we are going to be playing. The last regular one. So, let's see here. And while you guys are deciding, Kenshin the Guardian Flareon, first and only stream you'll be able to see for this game. Hey, look, that's fine. This is Bowser's Enchanted Inferno. This is the last one. It's going to be amazing. I see a lot of people saying Bones. I, I, I feel like I feel like that's pretty fair, because a lot of the characters here, like Mario, Luigi, you know, Peach and everybody, they have all these other Mario parties that we're going <clears> to <throat> that we're going to see them in. Mario Party 7, it's like these are one of the these are some of the characters that just end up getting swapped out and kind of screwed over, right? So I, th I think it's pretty fair for you guys to want uh, dry bones in here. We'll throw we'll throw some dry bones in here. That'll definitely make it a bit more difficult. So I respect it. We've already had Boo quite a few times. Uh, oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Toad's legal team is in the chat. Oh, God. Thank you for the super chats, you guys. Uh, Toad's boss, we request his inclusion. Well, guys, I, I think Toad's legal team is, um, I don't know if I can go against that. This is going to make it even more difficult. But, um, guys, I, I told you in Identifying Luck that, 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 that characters like Drybones and Toad are really good on this board, and you, you guys are going to kind of screw me over. All right, guys, last character, last character. Whoever's the, whoever gets the most... Whoever gets the most will get it. Uh, Mario and Luigi's a throw. Birdo's a throw pick. Anyone else here? Except for Warren and Waluigi. I'm really narrowing it down, aren't I? <laughs> I'm narrowing it down a ton. We got some Toadettes there, some Wario, some... Hey, who's saying Wario and Waluigi? Do, you got, do I have to... Hold on a second. Y'all are freaking... Alright, hold on. Let me just... Alright, so you, 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 you see this. You see number seven, right? Thou shall not play Wario no Wall. Do you, do you think that doesn't apply to CPUs? You guys are trying to make the CPUs break the commandments. This isn't cool. Birdo needs the revenge. But Birdo sucks here. We'll bring Daisy in. We'll make it hard. We'll make the hardest setup. Too often we've had Yoshi and Birdo and Wario and Waluigi. Their character orbs are good. I know you guys want to see a very difficult game. Yoshi, where I'm able to use my character orb. We got Dry Bones and Toad so they can move around the board easily. And then we got Daisy who can get a lot of coins. Now, last time on Windmillville, we ended up losing, right? I'm going to say we because it was a group effort here. Because you guys you guys contributed to the loss. You guys might be confused right now. What do you mean we contributed to the loss? It's because if the handicap was not on, which you guys voted for, I would have won it. Or I mean, we would have won it, of course, right? <laughs> so... Uh, I, I'm not I'm not really sure. Well, what do you guys think? Do you guys think we should do you guys think we should do a handicap this time? Or do you guys think we did lose because of the vacuum orb as well? Yeah, some of you voted no. Some of you guys are throwing each other under the bus. I see that. It's hilarious. Alright, let's see here. So we're gonna do another poll. It's gonna be the plus one star handicap. Yes or no. The plus one star handicap for all the other CPUs. Now, it wasn't impossible last time with Windmillville. I will let you guys know this. It was not impossible. It was completely doable. It was extremely close. It was very, very close. And the same vote is happening, it looks like. Thank you, Mui Max, for joining the Zyke Editor Fund. I really appreciate you, man. I hope you have a good time here. Make sure you check out all the emotes, all the cool little emotes. I keep forgetting to add emotes. Some people keep messaging me cool little emotes, and I keep forgetting to add them in. Again, feel free to post them. Feel free to DM me them. Thank you, J Games. Not my fault for your skill issues. You know what? Y'all are so split right now. <laughs> Start the game with plus five stars. Yeah, no, you can't steal stars on this board. There is pink boo available. So, I'm going to... I'm going to end it in five seconds. You guys got five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. I'll wait another five seconds for stream delay. There we go. All right. Well, you guys are crazy. We're going to be setting it up as Yoshi. Hope you guys have fun. <laughs> we had a 51-48 split, 200 people. 100 of you guys didn't vote. You could have definitely changed things up. We are entering Bowser's Enchanted Inferno. 
It has an exclamation mark at the end, so that's how you know it's a very important, <laughs> it's a very important stream. Now, what if the handicap was for me, you guys? What would you have done then? What if I tricked you? What if it was all for me? Anyways, oh dear, we've somehow entered Bowser's Enchanted Inferno, and it's not enchanting at all. How could this have happened? Oh, oh, oh please. Oh. Should I tell you about this board? Bowser's Enchanted Inferno is an amusement park composed of four cheap. <laughs> God, I'm freaking burping all over the place. My bad, you guys. My breath must stink. Make a way around them and pay coins for stars. When it's Bowser time, he sinks in islands. It's no joke, you'll often be cut off from the star. I'm sure the Koopa Kid is up to no good, too. Keep us. Hit those dice blocks. What do you guys think? What are we getting? Ooh, okay. We have a pretty high chance at. Okay, okay, we're going second. That's pretty good. That's all right. This isn't. This isn't going to be a big deal on the board like this. This isn't going to be a big deal. If you can't be a one-star handicap, can you really consider the luck identified? I don't really think I can. A lot of people here don't really have faith in me, which I kind of understand. Princess Daisy, I for sure can beat you without handicap. Without handicap, I mean, you, you have handicap right there, so you, you don't gotta worry about anything. This is the first time I'm not going first or last? Huh. I'm going second or third, thank you for keeping track. Now, for those of you that have been paying attention... Well, actually, hold on, we gotta pay close attention to the Koopa Kid spaces here. And you guys might be thinking, okay, we're over-exaggerating it, right? But this board can get a little crazy, because it's one of the... It can be the smallest board in the entire franchise, it looks like. Well, in terms of Mario Parties 1 through 7, because I like... I like being discriminatory when it comes to all the Mario Party titles like that. <laughs> but this board... Oh, we do have mic space turned on, by the way. Just the regular mic. When Bowser sinks an island, everything, I think some islands are like 41 spaces, one of them is like 42, it's really stupid. Who said rules land? Oh, screw you guys, why are you guys counting rules land? One of these days, maybe we'll play in rules land so you guys can learn how to play Mario Party. <laughs> There's no board in Mario Party 8 that's, that's, that's like less than what this one is. I can't believe we're doing a mic space immediately after. That's kind of crazy. This is rules land erasure, I'm sorry. There, there is no rules land, there was never rules land. Toad's worth fun facts! I, I forgot all the fun facts. I don't even know what fun fact we're on right now. Can someone remind me what fun fact we're on? <laughs> we ran out of it, dude. <laughs> Thank you, Siobhan. So excited to catch this one live. Been a fan since your bucket test video. Holy crap, that's a deep cut. Jesus. Thank you so much for the donation. I appreciate it. And thank you, Princess Daisy, for joining the Zyke Editor Fund. Looks like you helped Daisy win six coins. Awesome. It doesn't even matter at all. I can't believe we're doing a mic space that fast. Like, it doesn't even matter. Like, the, like why not just bet all of your coins at that point? You start with 10 coins, you're gonna land in the mic space. It's not a big deal. All right, so let's go over the board real quick, because I know some of y'all probably forgot. So here are the star spaces. We got a star space right over here. Uh, we've got one, like, right here, which I forgot to include in identifying luck. I'm sorry, okay? That's my B. That's my B. I apologize for that. We've got a star space right up top here, right by the happening. And we've got a star space right down here by the blue space. One over here. And we've got one right next to the red space over here. And right. And uh, I believe they threw a Koopa Kid space right onto the star space here as well. And right up here is where the star currently is. Now, a big deal about this is that Bowser will sink the islands. So that makes things a lot more difficult to kind of deal with as time goes on. Yes, I did do the sprite animation myself at the beginning of the stream. Okay, so that's a solid four. I mean, this should be an easy star as long as we win the minigames. If we win the minigames to get a decent roll, we should be able to just get the star pretty pretty quickly. Let's see what Toad's got in store. I... I think he lands exactly where we do. I think he landed on the... Yeah, I think you get the same thing we did. I don't think... I don't think that we've done a 1v3 Mike minigame yet. Can anyone remind me if we've done that? I don't believe we have. I'm not sure. Because every single time we've gotten a four-player minigame, it ends up being a... Yeah, yeah, anytime it's a mic minigame, it ends up being a four-player minigame, right? But in order for it to be a 1v3 mic minigame, I have to be the one player, I think? Because the CPU can't be the one with the mic. Or at least I don't think you're able to set it up like that. Go. Okay, guys, we're gonna try for the strat. I'm Yoshi. We're gonna try it. Yoshi, he's fairly okay to time it with. He's okay, he's average. Again, Peach and Daisy are really good with it. We'll try it. We'll try the strats best we can. 
it's totally unnecessary against brutal CPUs, but we're gonna do it anyways because I know you guys love seeing it. Oh god, here we go. Let's go. You love to see it. Let's go, you love to see it. Alright. Nice. And then we move over here just a little bit. Doink. Ooh, very nice record. 30. That's the fastest we've ever done it. Wow, that was faster than we did it for Peach and Daisy. That's an amazing start to the stream. Holy crap. <laughs> amazing start. Wow, that was close to the world record, too. That was a few frames away. Incredibly clean. I'd like to see the CPUs pull that off. Peach and Daisy, it's really easy to... Oh, okay, that's a very bad roll. I mean, it's an amazing roll, but certainly not for us right now. Would have been nice if she landed on the Koopa Kid space. Okay, now we are hoping for a 1 on DK. If we get a 3, that would be absolutely abysmal. We can actually afford the star right now if we get a high enough... Uh, no, it's not going to be here. Okay, that's 26. If you swallow more than 3 character orbs with the egg orb, you simply throw away the extra orbs that you don't want. Okay, so it looks like Toad isn't going to be able to do much. He's visiting the item shop. Maybe he's just kind of giving up on the possibility of getting the star. I mean, that's good for us. Thank you much, Wipe, for the donation, by the way. This board is the best music. It will never leave my head. Well, it's interesting you say that because this board's of music is simply Bowser's theme whenever he shows up, but done in a very different format. You'll notice... Oh, we're doing DK already, you guys. We're doing DK already. That's awesome. But you'll notice for a lot of games you play, right? For a lot of games, they will use the same motif in multiple times. Like when I was li when I was listening to like uh, uh, oh multiplayer, that's pretty good. When I was listening to a lot of Undertale tracks, I realized that Toby Fox actually takes the same Undertale motif or different motifs from the different like ooh a two times multiplier. That's really good. I mean, it's good to get coins out of it, but I'm not sure if it's gonna. I'm a little scared. Yeah, but like, like different, different motifs from different songs like Toby Fox kind of used around uh, Undertale. And I'm starting to realize that in a lot of other games once I once I started thinking about it more. Like how Mario Party 6's, or was it, I think Mario Party 7's here, minigame music takes a motif from Mario Party 6. Alright. We go straight down. We never miss that. It's so easy to get. We got double bananas there. Uh, let's see if we can make it down to this banana before the others. Ah, we can't. It'd be cool if I was able to push everyone off. 16 bananas, that's a solid 32. And you guys were worried about the star count. Some of you guys were voting no. We're already off to an amazing star. Come on, look at us. Two coins for each banana we earn. Look how much we got. Actually, this can be really bad. Because Daisy's going to be able to afford the star now. Oh, this is a little scary. DK is a, DK's a fine bloke. I don't know where he comes from. I mean, he comes from the freaking underground. <laughs> Okay, no Mike mini game. That's totally good. Uh, Pokey Pummel? Ooh, you love to see it. You love to see it. It's time. All right. Let's see how many mini games we can win in a row. Wouldn't it be nice if I can win all 50 mini games in a row? That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Are there any luck based mini games I have to keep an eye out for? Yeah, I do. Ghost in the Hall a little bit. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, 10 milliseconds too fast. Or too late. Four seconds, 18 milliseconds. Or centiseconds, whatever you guys want to say. Some One of, one of y'all corrected me on that the other day, and I'm like, it, it's been in my head ever since. I'm like, man, I guess I'm wrong about that. <laughs> it's so fast. I don't even look at the screen when I do it. I just keep an eye on my, my controller. Oh, she's able to afford the star. Oh, no, you guys. That was just enough, and she's going to land on a happening space. So wherever the star moves next, she's able to go, she's going to be able to move it. Oh, man. Okay, so she's already up one. We need to start getting some pink boos. That's what we gotta do. We gotta start placing them around. It'll be easy to get the players to land on it because of how... Sh That's actually good. Because she's about to move the star, right? It's also good because we're learning the star cycle faster, right? So the, f the first star is at the very top, and then the second star is at the bottom, right? And then it moves to the star over here to the far left. Keeping track of the star cycle on this board is extremely difficult because of how many random occurrences can occur here. Uh, that's actually a really amazing spot. That's not bad at all. We can grab that right now. Let's see what we've got here. 
All right, half yearly sale. That basically means you're... Okay, for the record, whenever it says it's our half yearly sale in almost any Mario Party, I never brought this up. That basically means you're in fourth place. You're in fourth place. Here, have a discount. Uh, that's all it means, pretty much. Now, let's grab ourselves a Super Shroom Orb. This will help us... Dude, Super Shroom Orb is absolutely crazy here. Absolutely crazy. It is so stupid how many spaces you're able to move around with it. So we've got a one, two, three, four, five, six. We also land on this happening up here, which I'm totally going to screw up. Thank you so much, Mewie Max. <laughs> Good luck, Mr. Zyke. Glad to finally catch a Mario Party stream. Been a fan for a while. Also love your Sonic videos as an unapologetic Sonic fangirl. Look, I love making the Sonic videos too. There's a few upcoming ones that I'm going to be making that I'm going to be doing in a different style. And I'm going to see if everyone's going to... I'm going to crank at it, dude. I'm going to go on the grind set. I know, I know it sounds cringe when I put it like that. Oh my gosh! Oh, that's such an amazing star layout. This is such an easy star cycle to remember. This is such an easy star cycle to remember. It's just top, bottom, and then bottom, top up there. Like, I, I, I'm going to end up going over here. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay, that wasn't the best layout. We got a fair amount. Seven coins is pretty pretty average for that. I haven't practiced that one in a while. Would have liked to get a few more off of it. Okay, Toad's not going to be able to catch up in time. This is amazing. Here's the taunt, by the way. I know some of you guys wanted to hear it. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh. Oh, no happening there. Okay, okay. Now, I was thinking, what's... Okay, we're on turn 3 out of 50. Now, every five turns, as you guys know, Bowser's going to be able to sink an island. And that's going to totally ruin our chances of, like, learning where the star cycle is. Right? Oh, battle minigame. Every single time I get on a tangent, this thing ends up distracting me. Ooh, 10 coins. Okay, that's good. That's good. I don't like how Mario Party 8 does the battles. I know I keep referencing I didn't find luck from Mario Party 8. But... Oh, please. Don't do... Don't deckhands me. Oh, my gosh. I was so worried about getting deckhands. Okay, what do you guys think? Air Farce or Final Countdown? What are you guys thinking? Those are the choices. I'll leave it to chat. I'll leave chat to decide. No poll. Screw you guys. No poll. Anarchy. I love anarchy. Night, night. Mr. Zyke Zoom. How goes the lava party? It's going pretty good. It's going pretty good. Air Farce and Final Countdown. Guys, why are you choosing? Who's writing deckhands in the chat? We can't choose deckhands because it's going to be a tie. Okay, it seems you guys want to do Final Countdown. We got a lot of Final Countdowns in there. We have to jump kick them. Hopefully I don't get absolutely murdered. Okay, let's hope we're on a good number layout this time, because I was not having fun with my previous one. Oh, I'm on four. I'm on the least amount again. That should be okay. Okay, got Toad out of here. No! Oh, okay, I got second place. That's okay. That's okay. I think I make my money back. I think I make my money back. Dude, I hate counting the final countdown, man. I took it easy on Daisy for a moment, because Daisy's a fan favorite. Ooh. That's okay. Yeah, we made our money back. We're all good. Wasn't even a big deal. If it was third or fourth place, that'd be bad. I focused too much on jump kicking everybody. I should have played it safe a bit more. And that's where it comes in. You have to make sure that you treat it as a survival minigame. Another DK. We're doing another one. It'd be crazy if we got another multiplayer DK minigame, wouldn't it? Here we go. DK's time to shine. Here you go. Oh, another multiplayer one, you guys. We're doing another multiplayer one. This is so cool. Can we can we get a times two multiplier? Times two? Times three, even? Oh, another times two? Wow, that's really rare. I can't believe we're doing another times two one. What? That's kind of... We landed on DK twice in a row. We got another times two. That's kind of crazy. And we're doing the same... No, we're not. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm bad. <laughs> no times three, but more times two. Dude, we're getting tons of coins out of this. Oh, crap. Wait, where am I? Okay, hold on. There we go. I lost my marker for a moment there. Ooh, I slipped. Mine. Oh, I'm so not used to the marker there. The bottom barrel's the marker for the top top right person. 
I'm so used to Mario Party minigames. That's still 10 coins. I'm so used to Mario Party minigames going based off of, like, if I'm player one or not, right? But not, because it goes off of the, the dice roll, like your positions and everything, you have to kind of get used to all the different kinds of positions. Make you night night. I'm gonna go kidnap Co Koopa Kid. Although Toad's gonna be the one in second by the end of the game. No, he's not. No, he's not. Toad's gonna be in last place. He's in last place right now. All right, what do we got here? So we are two turns away from there being a Bowser time. So one turn after this. So what we really want here is to ensure that as many stars spawn as possible so we can memorize the star cycle and then start choosing our paths preemptively against the CPUs. So that's a five. Oh, can we get another one? Oh, darn. Okay, this is still really good. Because the only possibilities for it to show up are the top island and the ride island. So no matter where it shows up, we're going to be in an amazing position to grab it. Unless we can't get to it in time because of Bowser time. Swirl, thanks for the donation. I recommend you look at a game called 100% Orange Juice. Yes, I have played 100% Orange Juice. I've played a lot with my friends. I don't know if I'd ever do a video on it, but it is a whole ton of fun. Oh, okay. Oh, that's like the worst spot it could be in. Hopefully we can get there in time because Bowser's going to sink the island with the star. Oh, thank you so much for the donation. We got 41 skeletons. How many hours of sleep did I get? I got a fair amount this time. I think I'm pretty good. No! Ah, oh, this sucks. I was really, really hoping... I was really, really hoping that there'd be, like, maybe a, uh, a King Boo or some mushrooms here, but there's not. That's okay. Let's get... Let's get a Piranha Plant Orb. It should be okay. So we know where four of them are. Look, it's a blue GameCube this time. Or an, an Indigo GameCube. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. That's really close by. Oh, that's so close by, you guys. We need a five or higher in order to get the star next turn. Ugh. Oh, man, I hope things don't get screwed up. Unless they land on the happening space to move everything around, then everything gets a little wacky. I thought he was about to land on it. Oh, he's one away. He's one away. I'm so nervous about the, the star getting moved. Although he does move after me, so it's probably not as big of a deal. We just need to get a good roll. We just need to get a good roll. Another battle minigame? I was speechless. Another 10. Another 10 coin battle. Why are we getting multiple? Guys, uh, I, I know some of you might be thinking that we're overreacting to this, but keep in mind, on Neon Heights, we got no battle minigames. We're getting these so fast. <clears throat> okay, it's between... I don't even know why I'm asking you guys. It's between Deckhands and Monty's Revenge. Oh boy, guys, guys, Monty's Revenge, my favorite. Guys, my favorite, Monty's Revenge. Oh, don't you guys, don't you guys, guys, don't you guys want to play Monty's Revenge? It's the best mini game. God, God. <laughs> Monty's Revenge is so fun. <laughs> the frick. <laughs> Why do you guys do this to me? You know it's gonna not end up right. Last time we played this minigame, I think I got a 9, which is one of the most unlucky outcomes you could possibly get. It was an extremely unlikely outcome. Getting a 6 in this minigame is so freaking unlikely. It's a, it has to be one in the thousands, and I got a 9. Like, he already has a 13. <laughs> he already has a 13. Okay. Oh, yes! Yes, this is the redemption! This is the redemption! This is the redemption, you guys! Who's saying once in the chat? We combine those ones, we make an 11. This is the redemption, you guys. We're, we're making it, we're doing it. I didn't listen to my grandpappy this time. I didn't listen to my grandpappy. Every single time I listen to my grandpa. Every time we play this minigame, dude, he's like, Choose this one! Choose this one, Zoom Psych. Yes, he calls me by my username. I know, it's a little strange. Ooh, they're getting the high order ones. So a 9, 13, 11 are taken. My grandpappy always said to choose the one on the far left, which means it's good to choose one on the far right. Yes! Oh! Screw you, grandpappy! As he rolls over in his grave. <laughs> Did someone say something? 12? Oh, we got the 12 out of it. Look, I'm okay with just not getting last, okay? I'm just... Like, when you've been dealt a bad hand tons and tons of times in a row, you're just okay with not being the loser, all right? If I can just- if I can get second, I'd be pretty happy with that. One. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy the one's out of the way. 
Yo, we might be able to be dry bones here. Maybe. Nah. Okay, that's a three. I don't think that there was. I don't think there was any outcome there that could have resulted in our win. Let's see what dry bones gets here. Four. I'm not sure. Yeah. No. Second or worse. We got second, dude. Guys, we got second. Holy crap. I'm so happy. I didn't even win, and I'm ecstatic. That, that's how happy I am. It's crazy. Dude. <laughs> I didn't even win. That is so stupid, dude. <laughs> Thank you so much, Andrew Dender. My sister's favorite character is Yoshi. She's a big fan and mean a lot to her if you obliterate a toad. Of course, of course. We'll do it. We haven't seen Yoshi. We haven't even seen Yoshi use his egg orbs. We haven't seen it happen because the CPUs don't use it. I'm so happy, though. We have enough for this star. That's a good point. That's a good point. That was a more important battle mini game than I thought. Holy crap, that's an amazing point. What was I thinking letting you guys decide that for me? Crap. Okay, okay. There, oh, there's an orb space right there. I'm gonna throw my piranha plant. Oh, I can't throw it over there. Okay, uh, uh, I'm gonna throw it right here. There's not really a main path on this board because of how often the islands end up getting destroyed. 10, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, that's so good. Dude, we, we're gonna know where five or six of the freaking stars in the star cycle is. That's so unlikely. Most of the time in the first five turns, you'll learn like maybe two or three. Bear, if you're lucky. But like, it spawned on the top, then the bottom, then someone got a happening, and then we got a super mushroom and zipped our way around. That's incredible. Okay, over there. Okay. So it's top and bottom of the bottom island, bottom top on the left. Oh, this is so cool. So look, the star is up here, then it goes down here, then here, that's number three. Up here is number four. Here was number five, and up here is number six, right? If we can get that one, if we can somehow reach number six. No, we can't. We can't reach number six. I'm stupid. <laughs> we have enough spaces. Uh, one, two... Three, four, five, six. Okay, number six. If we go to this island, it's going to end up being destroyed and we're going to lose some of our coins, which is not what we want right now. So we can go visit the item shop. I think that's a good move. We start placing down some stuff. That's unfortunate, but I think that's where the whole star cycle thing ends. I think that's where it ends. Unless you roll a one? Oh. Actually, we should be able to still... Did you land on my... Oh, oh wait, no, you didn't. Yo, Toad's stupid. He's gonna end up losing some of his coins. Actually, we, um, we're gonna be in a very good position to still learn how the star cycle works. You guys are about to see why. Does anyone want to take a guess? Oh, a pink boo! That even though Bowser's about to get rid of an island, we still have enough information to determine, like, where each star is going to go. And that's because we already know that the left island... Another battle minigame! What?! Another one! Neon Heights didn't have it! What's going on? Another one out of many Dude! Oh, man! Okay. I'm confused what the setup was. Alright, Monty's Revenge or Hello Popper? What are you guys feeling? Oh, baby, a triple! More battles than normal! What's going on? Where's Deckhands? There's no- Guys, there's not even any freaking Deckhands this time. <laughs> There's no deck hands. <laughs> oh, man. Holy crap. Yeah, we can do some Monty. I feel the Monty's Revenge. Guys, finally! You're with me now! You're with me! We can do some Monty's Revenge together! Thank you, Andrew. Saying Dry Bones is my grandpappy. Real smooth, Andrew. You say, you say my grandpappy is just a sack of bones? Because you're right. <laughs> Ooh. Come on, go after the others. Oh, this is so smooth. Oh, this is so smooth. Oh, we're so smooth. We are so smooth. I'm sliding out of my chair. I'm so smooth. Oh! I'll use dry bones as a shield. Oh, oh my gosh. I know I'm making some weird noises right now. It's okay. Ooh, he didn't... They didn't go after me at all there. We're okay. We're okay. Oh, no! Dry bones actually won that! Look how close that was! These battle mini games are crazy! How did he actually win that? He actually took that from me! 
like two milliseconds. That's crazy. That's so stupid. That would by an axe, literally by a frame. Two centi seconds? I don't know, man. Someone, someone, someone's a math major. <laughs> I took statistics in college. I don't. <laughs> okay, okay. We can we can determine where the star is still. No, we can't. No, we can't actually determine where the star is. 20 milliseconds. Yeah, I know. Two centi. All right, there it is. All the way over to the right. We don't know if that's the eighth star spot or if that's the seventh one. And that's because another star spot could... Uh, another star space could have been on that top island, right? It's possible for this one. I guess we'll see. We'll see. It's a little unfortunate. Once this star gets grabbed, regardless, once this star gets grabbed, it's going to reset back here. So if Daisy gets the star in time, if we roll low, then maybe we'll be able to pull off some shenanigans here. Okay. Um, I kind of lied a little bit about the the main route. It's good to place your orbs along like this side of the junctions here, like these junctions here, like not after but before, kind of like where Daisy put it. That was good location because people aren't really able to avoid that. Okay. Anyways, we are. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll throw mine down. I'm gonna have a lot of orbs this time around. I'm gonna throw down the piranha plant. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Let's. We're actually kind of hoping we roll low here. Nah, nah. Daisy doesn't have enough coins to get the star. I'm cool. Ah, that average roll is kind of pain. We got any green? Ooh, a lot of green orbs. Give me that super shroom. Why is it all mushrooms? There's so many mushrooms here. That's okay. So many mushrooms. <laughs> That's okay. That's enough. Uh, we'll stay on this island. Is there anyone else on this island with us? I don't think there is. No coins at all, dude. Yeah, we don't have any coins for anything. It's because we were in first. Oh, Toad's right there. I didn't even see him. I didn't even see him. I didn't have enough. Oh, the pink boo. Ooh, we've got to replace that as soon as possible. We're replacing that on our next turn. You guys got to remind me to replace that. If I don't replace that, I am throwing. Super Mushroom, let's go. Thank you so much, Beastly N64. I'm currently super familiar with board Star Space Layout after spending a whole week on it. Keep up. Jesus, why? A week on the freaking Star Spaces? Dang. That's some dedication. 20 coins to Daisy? What are you doing? 20 coins? That's enough to make it so she can get the star. She was the threat. I understand. Look, it's good to eat it with the Agor, but you guys don't understand. We are in a bad position to do it. In order to get it, we would have to go all the way around in a circle in the island and hope that we roll high enough with our Agor, right? But if we're in a good position to pull it off, then I'll do it, right? I'm just concerned, because if we're 10 spaces away from it and we use an Agor, we just wasted our Agor, right? We'll see. We'll see how far away we are. I'm pretty sure... We're not 10 spaces away from it. If we're not 10 spaces away, I'm going to be free to do it. It will be good to steal it, though, with the Agor. How did she steal that from me? Dude, getting... Getting these is such a pain. Okay. I have to literally... Avoid. Uh, oh, 10. Wow. Three-way tie. Three-way tie. You love to see it. Well, it's a three-way win. They don't end up tying anyways. I love how Dry Bones just dies every single time he loses. Do you guys like that too? Every single time he just dies. Thank you, 41 Skeletons. The illusion of free choice. I'm not sure what that was a reference to, but yes. Cool, Yoshi. Reminded that you don't certainly... Don't have mini game. No, I have mini game. I have mini game. I I also have Daisy's coins. I have I have a lot of Daisy's coins here. That's a solid nineteen. She's not going to be able to purchase the star with that. I might be able to blitz ahead and steal it from her. And Ozai, what's the lore behind Mario becoming a green dinosaur? Does anyone want to come up with the lore on that? Honestly, I didn't think of one this time. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we can we can steal the pink boo. 
Now we can try and go for the pink boost deal, or we can try a mushroom and take this star away from Daisy. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try getting the star away from Daisy. I'm gonna try getting the star away from Daisy here. I think it's more important. We can we can not replace the pink boo, but we can suck up the pink boo, like uh, people were saying in the chat earlier, with our a gorb. Ooh, I could land on the happening here. That's a one in eight chance of a star. I don't like that. Now, as long as Daisy rolls past this star, or lands on the red space or the happening, or that happening or red space, she's unlikely to get this, basically. She is very unlikely to be able to attain this star next turn. Alright. Uh, I'm a little nervous about Toad, though. What's he landing on? No, he didn't land on a red space. He's in a much better position than I. It looks like... Ooh, Super Shroom. I wonder if Dry Bones is going to be in the running here. Yeah, we can get the star and then we can move over to grab the pink boo. One. Nice roll. Seven. Pretty, pretty cool. Ooh. If you got another seven instead of the one there, you could have gotten 50 coins. It could have been nice. Ooh, Dry Bones is in the running here too. Wow, I didn't expect everyone to just beeline it like this. Although I think... No, okay, okay. You know what would be really funny? Is if Daisy lands on the happening there and then ends up... I was ready for another battle. <laughs> I was ready for another battle minigame, dude. If Daisy lands on the happening there and makes everybody there lose some coins, that'd be really cool. Who do we punch, guys? Who's our goal? Who are we punching? I think I'm gonna punch some Toad. I think I'm gonna get Toad out of here. I like the theory that Zoomzike has always played as Yoshi for Mario 64 DS and has just been using caps. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Get out of here! Dry Bones is crazy! Hydrated Bones! Wet Bones! Look at this dude! His bones are so hydrated! I'm just waiting for the skin to- Oh, I'm not gonna describe that. I was just- But, but, but when you think about it, right? Like, the, doesn't that thought just enter your head? You can't- It's, it's wet bones, right? <laughs> oh, please. Not a one. Okay, that should be fun. Do we got any... Ugh. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm gonna need to roll like a 10 or something, dude. Jeez. Uh, let's throw this. Because they're gonna end up going this way anyways. I'm gonna throw this down here. Take a spear, guy. We're gonna be populating this place. 10. Yo, we actually got it, you guys. Holy crap, that's crazy. Oh, they're so mad right now. They're so mad right now. They're CPUs, but they're so mad right now. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Jeez. I normally don't get those. You guys know me. I never get those kinds of rolls. Okay, so as expected, it restarted back at the... Back at here again. It didn't matter if this was the second one. Or I'm sorry. It didn't matter if this was the seventh one or the eighth one. Because, regardless, it's going to skip the, the island on the top, whether it be uh, before or after. Oh, now he has a 10. See, now, now we end up, we end up going all the way around and we could take the pink boo. I know some of you guys really wanted me to make that move again, and now we're landing on another DK space. This is weird. This is a really strange game in Mario Party so far. We have done so many DK minigames and so many battle minigames already. This is a single player one. Yeah, it, once we get within 10 spaces of the pink boo space, we're gonna use our egg orb and we're gonna try and get it. Oh, that's right, star. Okay, okay. That's okay, okay. I, I'm really happy that DK isn't being that generous. I, I, I only want him to be generous to us, to us, right? Don't be a vine country. Oh, come on. I don't need to see DK get absolutely demolished again. I hate watching DK get hurt here. I want you guys just to listen. To just listen real quick. Listen to DK. Listen to his pains of suffering in a moment. Oh, DK's actually doing kind of good. Oh, DK. DK? Oh, no, no, there it is. Oh. <laughs> he only got hit twice. Yeah, I mean... D DK actually, th that, that was pretty good. I, I, I wasn't really, <clears throat> I, I was worried for him at first, but he ended up avoiding quite a few more than uh, than I expected. 
He was, he was like in purgatory. Like, he wasn't going up fast enough. Even if, for the record, if some of you were thinking, hey, if DK just avoids all those, maybe he'll be able to beat Toad, he wouldn't have been able to. The Brutal CPU is a much faster button masher than the CPU AI for DK, which I think is set to around normal. I, I think I think that's what it is. Uh, We got a nice little slow shroom. For dry bones, I don't really give a crap about that. Are we close enough to the pink boo? 2v2? Our first 2v2, I believe. Tile and error, here we go. You guys already know what we gotta do here. You guys already know. We have to make sure the entire thing is our color. I don't want to go through all these Mario Party 7 streams just for none of them to be an entire one color. I have to see it. Who's my partner? Okay, I'm partnered with Toe, so I beat up Daisy and Dry Bones, and I'm making it blue. Okay, sometimes I don't. Oh, very nice. Okay, get Dry Bones off. Get Daisy off. It's all our color. Did you just try punching me, Toad? Was it me, or did Toad really just try punching me? Yes! Yeah, I did it! Oh! Yes! Yes, the whole thing's blue! <laughs> oh, frick. Oh, that took so many tries. <laughs> the whole thing's blue. <laughs> we got it. We got it, too. <laughs> Perfect victory. Holy crap, I'm so happy. <laughs> that never happens. That never happens, dude. <laughs> When's the last time you see that? We can just end it right now, dude. We can just call it. <laughs> this is a blessed run. So many DK minigames. We've already done three battle minigames. And we managed to get that? Holy crap. I wouldn't be surprised if I you know, beat the record for Pokey Pummel by the end of this. This is awesome. Okay, okay. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, Pink Boo is nine spaces away. Oh, that's such an annoying amount of spaces away. Especially because I'm going to suck up my own orbs in the process. Thank you, Paul Young. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm going to... Place my Piranha Plant. No, I'm not. I just can't roll a nine. Okay, six. Very nice, very nice. I know some of you really want me to use it there. Really appreciate it. Oh. Uh... Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We can go this way. Very nice. Yeah, suck on my own orb, boost my orb count. Yeah, but then if people were gonna land on it, then then we end up losing value from it. Beastly N64, your Mario Party content is a great resource for creating task projects, so thanks for that. No, no problem, dude. Gotta keep in mind, like, it's not just me. I get it from the Mario Party Netplay Discord server. There's a lot of people there that help me out. Tons of names. Thank you, Crack Lion, for joining the Zyke Editor Fund, and thank you, Daniel. All of you guys are donating when Toad's getting a star. I don't know if that's a sign or something, but jeez. You mentioned possibly expanding our identifying luck series to other party games. You should try identifying luck in Muppets Party Cruise. I'm not sure if that's a joke or not. I'm going to be honest with you. I've never played that before. My lord. I haven't even seen the... I, I, I'm not even convinced that's a video game. Can someone tell me that that's a video game or not? Or if I'm just being trolled? Am I being pranked here? I'm not even sure. It is? Holy crap. I didn't know it was a video game. Munchrai says Proton John did get punched by his ally Mario. <laughs> I didn't know that actually exists. Target tag. Let's see what we can get here. I appreciate all the donations, you guys. It really helps out a lot. I know I sound like a broken record, and it might start sounding disingenuous just because I keep repeating the same thing, but I mean it every time, and I'm not going to, like, fake my... You know what I mean? Like... All right, let's see if we can get the same, the highest score. Oh, this is juicy. Holy crap, they all moved into me. Oh, they are moving into me hard. This is bad. This is really bad. Oh, I got them. Nice. We got more points than all of them combined. Think about that. Look at that. That's 120. 120 compared to 140. I've had a bigger deficit than that before, too. Okay. Now this turn, after Daisy takes her turn, we're going to be able to get this pink boo here. She does not have enough coins for the star, it looks like. Uh, wait, where is the star? I'm a little confused. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's over there. Okay. She does not have enough coins for it. 
You know what she does have enough coins for? This blue space. I, I, I know the board pretty well. I know the board pretty well. I think it'd be fun to do a stream where I'm trying to like remember the boards and I try to like make them on my own. Okay. Here we go, you guys. The first instance on stream. The first instance on stream of us using an Agorb. We need a three or higher to steal this pink boo. A three or higher. And if we want to go for broke, if we get a seven or higher, we can take the Koopa Kid space as well. Let's do it. Oh god. Oh, we got a three! Suck it up! Oh! Oh, that was so scary. That was so scary. If we didn't have it, we would have gotten killed. <laughs> we would have gotten killed. <laughs> Holy crap. If we didn't use the orb, we would have landed on ourselves and then given freaking... Oh my gosh. Toad would have landed on it too! Holy crap! We are in timeline B, buckaroos! Both me and Toad landed on that pink boo space. We would have both given a star to Dry Bones if we didn't get rid of it. We managed to avoid the bad timeline, dude. We're in the good timeline. And he- oh! And he would have gotten the freaking star here as well! He's also about to land on the cannon happening space right above him! Jesus Christ. Dry Bones, in a different timeline, had the best turn of his life. He would have gotten two stars from one another. He would have gotten another star here from that roll. And he's about to land on a happening space to up his happening count. Holy crap! The only thing that can make this even more crazy is if he ends up getting shot right behind the star to the island on the right. I mean, this is already kind of an amazing turn for Dry Bones right now. And he did. He got launched right behind it. He got launched right behind it. Oh my lord. That was already kind of a painful turn that we had to endure, but Dry Bones just made it even worse. By landing on the happening and the game launched over. Marby Arby, what's so enchanted about this inferno? Marby Arby. Uh, I don't know if anyone in the chat remembers, but Marby Arby here, who just super chatted... Um, he, he came back from therapy from Windmillville and stuff, right? He, he, he said that he had some problems with windmills and stock prices and interest and stuff. But, um, Marby, I don't think you should be looking at the screen right now because I believe you mentioned last stream that you had a fear of islands. And, uh, this board might have a few of those. Oh, we got unlucky. But so did everyone else. Okay, where's Daisy going? I'm gonna follow Daisy real quick. Oh, uh, no, I'm not, no, I'm not, no, I'm not, no, I'm not. Okay, no door. Oh my gosh, we got the door again. I think Daisy wins this. Oh, they're so good. They're so good. Grandpappy's tired of your trash talking. Screw you, Andrew. Grandpappy's never tired of my trash talking. I never played Mario Party with him. <laughs> it's so stupid, because like... I was like 15 when he... I don't even remember. Like, we didn't even have that many conversations. Well, I, I, I remember a fair few. He always did tell me about deckhands. He did tell me about deckhands. Okay. It didn't even matter because of Bowser time now that I think about it. Get out of here. Okay, wait. In that case, the next star should appear on the top island. Yeah. But we still can't determine what the star cycle is for the last couple stars because now the right island has gotten rid of. Man. That's so unfortunate. We still can't determine where we actually have to go in anticipation. One of the other islands, one of the other island, like the bottom island or the left island has to be gotten rid of. Okay, but who cares about that? We have a pink boo to place down. You guys ready for this? We got a pink boo to place down. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Nice nine, nerd. Oh, wait a minute. The next star, regardless, the next star is going to appear on this island here. It's going to appear a few spaces away on the bottom right. Uh, hopefully, Daisy doesn't have enough coins by the time we do it. Oh, man. Yep, right there, as expected. We don't know if this is the seventh star in the cycle or the eighth star. Because, for all we know, it could have skipped the star on the right island because it's sunk right now, so we're kind of in a weird situation. Ooh, first time we're seeing this happening, you guys. You seem like a lazy person. Are you guys a lazy Are you guys lazy? Would you guys have to dual Koopa Kid here amongst lava? I wonder how much muscle he's got. I wonder if... This is so hard to do. 
Even if you're a really good button master, this one can feel kind of mean. Oh, there you go. Daisy got that muscle, dude. Holy crap. 20 coins out of it? That's terrible for us. Because now she's able to afford the star. Maybe if we can... I'm going to put the pink boo... Okay, well, AI don't really avoid pink boo spaces all that much. Yeah, I'm going to place it... Let's see here. All right, right around here. We can place boo, pink boo right there out there, dude. Now, if we can land on the happening space, that'd be really funny because we could just bring the star over to us. <gasps> we did! We landed on the happening space! We can land on the happening space, you guys! Okay, okay. Slow shroom? Okay. I just realized my error. Um, okay, d d don't worry, we got it. Don't worry, guys, don't worry. Uh, oh, don't worry, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I did realize the error. I realized the error. We can make up for this. We have the egg orb. We we can suck it up. We'll, we'll 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 go around in a circle. We'll go around in a circle, okay? Wait, but we can't because it's gonna move over here. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh man. I could have gone to the left on the junction. I could have gone to the left to make it so that it didn't happen. Oh my god, no, I'm scared. <laughs> I miscounted. I thought it was one space at the junction, dude. Crap. <laughs> oh no. It is not okie dokie. How is this even a taunt, Yoshi? Come on, dude. It's okay. We'll get the next one, you guys. We'll get the next one. It's right there. Oh. <laughs> what is this? Amateur hour? Oh. That's okay. Yes. Give it to me. I'll eat up your orb, too, when I get to it. I need to add an 11th rule. Don't place orbs on star spaces. Yeah. No. You're right. Uh, at least it's not part of the commandments. Mr. B! <laughs> it looked like the meme. <laughs> oh, even Dry Bones is moving around. Look, guys, it's okay. I mean, if we just won by Pink Boo, it'd be kind of unfair, right? It'd be kind of unfair for all the CPUs. What do we got? Another battle minigame. Here we go. That's because we're getting a lot of four-player minigames. 20 coins? Oh, man. It's time. It's time. What do we got? All right, guys, we got Helipopper or Air Farce. Those are our choices. There's no deckhands. There's no deckhands. It's not even here. While you guys decide, Marby Arby, I've spent the past few days conquering my fears and growing in power. I'm rapidly approaching your location, and I'm going to duel you in control stick. Your reign of terror is over, Zooms. Like, screw you, Marby. I could take you on. There's no deckhands, Afri. <laughs> Air Farce, let's do Air Farce. Screw Helipopper. I can go pretty far in Air Force. I can get a hundred. I can't get the record though. The record is stupid. Oh, I got 99. Let's try it. Oh crap. I'm still not used to this. Hold on. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's a bad score. I'm still going to beat the CPUs, but this isn't as good of a score as I would have liked. Okay, 97.99. We're still like two yards a little shorter. I had to course correct. I'm not used to being the player that's second, third, or fourth away. Honestly, I really should have mentioned in the video that that can change a lot of stuff, right? Because if you're only used to doing the player in the first position, because I'm used to like rolling first and everything, right? Because of my amazing luck. But like being in the second, third, or fourth position, it's kind of hard to see your glider. Thank you, blue, boo. Blue, blue. Rip pink, blue. Rip pink, boo, you mean. <laughs> What are you landing on? Ah! Uh, oh, and if I place Pink Boo there like I should have, then she would have lost a star. I'm so mad. I'm so... I was just... Dude, I'm so stupid. Hold on. Okay. Where's the star? Oh, okay. It's all the way over there. So the next star is going to appear right over here. Hey, you guys didn't get on Daisy's case for her placing down a freaking space on a, on a star space here. I need to see the daisy slander. This is a star space, I'm pretty sure. Man, okay. This is alright. This is alright. This is alright. 
We're okay. We're okie dokie. Piranha plant right there. That's not a star space. We're okay. We're fine. It's a red orb. Yeah, you guys are right. You guys are right. It's not a pink boo. I understand. I understand. Yo, the happening. We're gonna blast off to the left. To the left. Send me to the left, please. Yes. That's not the left. That's the freaking top island. Where the heck am I? Oh, no. I mean, that's good for happening, but not for anything else. Oh, Toad's in a good position here to get the next star. Not this one, because he's garbage. <laughs> I couldn't even get rid of it. They can't afford it, but Daisy sure can. Oh, man. There's always that one character. Although it is a little balanced this time around. It is a little balanced. Oh, what is that? Nice piranha plant, nerd. Dude, the piranha plant didn't even chew. That was really funny. Did you guys see how the piranha plant, like, started to chew? Or no, no, the piranha plant had dry bones in its mouth, and it's like, what the? Mm, like, dry bone, there's no meat on this thing. <laughs> there's no meat on this thing. It's like, have you guys ever had, like, like, like a chicken wing or whatever, and you bite into it, and it's just bone, and you're like, crap, I bit into the freaking bone. No coins. Okay. It's the piranha plant equivalent. Just no meat on that. Okay, okay. All the way to the right. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, Toad, you're kind of throwing a little bit. That's okay. That's okay. All right, Toad, here we go. Here we go. All right, right around the Womp, the Womp Strat, and then the, and then the Monty Strat, right in between. Mm. Oh my God, that was so, that was so spicy. Okay, Toad, move it to the right. Yeah, I'll move it to the right. Okay, now I'll move it to the left. Toad, can you get out of the middle? Homie! Okay, I'll freaking push this myself. Oh, Daisy fell off. Come on, Toad. Yes, the final push. Finish. Holy crap, that was the most hype game of this boring mini game I've ever played. Somehow that mini game was actually made interesting. I didn't fall asleep during that. That's incredible. 102 coins. We're good. <laughs> Finally, dude. Normally I fall asleep to that mini game, but that, that was actually really that was pretty hype. That was pretty hype. Thank you, Undersea Rexy. I really appreciate it. Thank you for joining the Zack Editor Fund. And the Piranha Plants joined the Editor Fund too. Maybe it's your Piranha Plant. 16. Oh, it's time, dude. Yoshiville. I couldn't do it on other boards, but it's time, though. I'm able to steal other people's orbs and just throw them everywhere. All right. Is there... There are no orbs around here. I am so boned. I am not getting... Where's the star? It's down there. Now, Daisy can't afford it, though. Very interesting. Daisy can't afford it. Okay, there's no point in using my orb right now. Do I reach the... Yes, I do. Very nice. What do we got here? No pink boo, kind of unfortunate. We can, uh... What are you guys feeling? Well, what's chat feeling? A spear guy or a slow shroom? I'm not getting a freaking spiny, okay? What do you guys, th what do you guys think? A spear guy or a slow shroom? Uh, you said sluggish? There is no sluggish in this game. What are you guys, what are you guys feeling? Uh, we got a happening over there. I think a slow shroom's pretty nice. I think you guys want to see us. You know, we got, we got a slow shroom. You guys want to see me time it. I know you guys do. Daniel Alberto, thanks for the donation. Muppets Party Cruise is an actual game. The boards use grid-based movement as opposed to linear like Mario Party can get pretty strategic. You mean like chess? <laughs> I'm screwing with you. No, yeah, that, that, that does sound fun, but I don't know if it's something I would play. <laughs> I'm really, uh, I'm a little saucy about that. Okay, one in eight chance, you guys. Here it goes. Ooh, one in four now. Ah, oh, darn, he failed it. Overall failed the one in eight, but he got the first one. That was pretty nice. He got the first one. I was pretty proud of him for a moment. Ooh, super shroom. How many coins does he even have? I'm not even sure if he has a high amount that was that warranted. You have zero coins, dry bones. Calm down, man. What are you so worried about? I wonder if the AI is programmed to try and use it for a chance at getting triple sevens. What was the point here, man? Tomika, thank you so much for the donation. Hey, Zoom's like, just finished watching the tragedy that was Windmillville from last week. Looking forward to catching up with this one later, but wanted to show some support. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yes, Windmillville was a tragedy. Holy crap. Drybones is a freaking, he's a mastermind. 
And thank you for the first super chat. I really appreciate it. First super chats are always so hype. It shows little balloons and stuff on my screen. It's so happy. Oh. 50 50. <gasps> One and two. He got it. Are you serious? He actually got it. What is this game? What is this game? He actually got the one and eight. Yo, Dry Bones is a freaking mastermind. That's crazy. And now we're doing a mic mini game. I'm losing my mind, you guys. He really, he used his super shroom to purposely land on the happening space and then got the one and eight. How does that even happen? How'd he do that? He used it like a slow shroom. It's incredible. I'm a little scared. Am I going first? Okay, right, left, and mushroom. I always forget, dude. I'm worried I'm going to say, like, R, L, or mush or something. Come on, Daisy. It's Mario Kart. You've driven before. Ooh, mushroom. Daisy's going to get a perfect score. Wow. Very impressive score by Daisy. She won't even need to use it. Oh, never mind. She, I, I think she did that for fun. I think she did that just to screw with us. Hold the mic and say... Yes. Right. Right. Left. Right. Left. Left. Right. <gasps> right! Mushroom. Left. Oh. What the frick was that? I said right. Why'd it go the other direction? Why'd it go the other direction? <laughs> was it because I was saying it like that? <laughs> the game punished me, dude. <laughs> what even was that? I said right. I didn't even know how to recover from that. The the cans weren't in the proper place. Or I said left and then they went right. How did right become left? <clears throat> it's one of those, you know, you know those um those optical illusions, those audio illusions. Like where, you know, the the land, the the Yanny and Laurel thing. Maybe it's like that, or I said right and then it, it sounds like left. You know, left. Left or something. I, I don't know how to say it. Those are really funny. You know, now that I think about it, I'm gonna I'm gonna make some of you guys angry right now, real quick. Throwback. I'm gonna make you guys upset. Hold on. I'm gonna ask a poll in the chat. You guys know that one dress from a long time ago? What color was it for you? I need to know. I'll tell you guys what color it was for me. What color was it for you guys when you look at, when you guys looked at that dress? <clears throat> I'm just curious because I I've seen like a poll on Twitter. I, I I'm curious about you guys <laughs> I've refused to partake in this you will partake in this and you will like it Okay, I okay, we know that the dress at the end of the day is blue and black I mean in the photo of course like like don't get all actually the dress is blue and black because of okay I get that but you can change photos to change the things you know the colors and stuff tell me what color you see in the photo, right? Tell me what color you see in the photo. What, what color the dress was. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, if you look up blue and black dress or white and gold dress, it, it, was an, it was an optical, it was a visual illusion where some people saw the colors of the dress as white and gold and some of them saw it as blue and black. And you can see in the polls here, it's a bit split. Some people actually saw different colors. Six, seven, where's the star? Where is the star? Oh, it's gonna end up going over there. I think we can make it in time. Yeah, I think we'll be fine to use our slow shroom here. Seven, eight, nine. Uh, I'm gonna wait till I get a little closer, actually. I'm gonna wait till I get a little closer. We'll do a one. Ah, uh, no, that's pretty, pretty good roll. I, am I about to land on... Wait, what's this happening? Oh, that's the klepto. Oh, that's even better. That's even better outcome. Nice, okay. Now... I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. I saw white and gold. I saw white and gold. I did not see blue and black. It was a dumb meme. I I I I don't know how people saw blue and black. Maybe I just see colors as like in a, in a lighter hue or whatever. I I don't. 
I thought people were memeing. I thought people were memeing. Well, I convinced people saying black and blue are lying. <laughs> yeah, 38% of people, so like 40%. Everyone, you know what's so funny is that every side thinks the other side was lying, right? Like, people are like, this this has to be some kind of prank. Those who say white and gold, or those who say blue and black have to be lying, right? Someone says, it's to do with color temperature and different devices. That's why the whole thing happened. No, it's not. At least not for the devices. Because I, I at first, like a lot of people, believed it was a case of your monitor or your screen. Because everybody was like, oh, it's white and gold, oh, it's blue and black. And I'm like, everybody's stupid. It just has to do with your monitor settings, right? That, that you know, me as a tech guy for, for you know, to an extent, that, that was my first, you know, inclination. That was my first assumption. But then I'm like, okay, you'll come over here, mom, dad, my brother. And then they saw different colors and I'm like, what? It's not a monitor thing. I, I thought it was like the temperature of all the monitors and everything. Right? But it, it, it was legitimately by everybody's eyes. That's crazy. That's so weird. And now we're doing the same one. <laughs> Why are we doing the same Mike minigame? <laughs> oh my gosh. We're doing the redemption. Back to oil crisis. Thank you so much, Crackline. I appreciate it. First super chat. Look at those balloons. I love seeing it. I love all the... Everyone's like throwing freaking confetti for the first super chat. That's so cool. The blue and black, blue and gold dress. Whoever's okay, I'm sorry. If you saw blue and gold, something might be wrong with your eyes. You might need to go get that checked out. I mean, I've had eye surgery a few times. I think I've mentioned that before. Said so, like when I was a little kid, I uh, it was something I got kind of bullied for in elementary school and stuff because I had a nasty lazy eye on my right eye, and uh, like when I got glasses, it ended up fixing itself, and I ended up getting laser eye surgery later in life. But yes, I gotta do this one properly without talking. Right, right, left, right, left, left, right, okay, left, mushroom, left, right, jeez, why'd they place those there? They placed those exactly, like, I thought they could do a mushroom to the very end. No, I had a nasty lazy eye and got kind of made fun of for it. I had like multiple surgeries while I was very young to kind of like tighten the muscle on it. <clears throat> You're scared of the idea of laser eye surgery? It's not. I can understand being afraid of it. I didn't feel a thing and I couldn't see a thing. So if that makes you feel better at all. Like from someone like the you right now that's afraid of laser eye surgery was me before I did it. But I was just so upset. No knock to any of you guys who wear glasses. Because a lot of people say that when you wear glasses, you kind of get used to the border around your eyes. I never got used to it, homies. I never did. My glasses were always dirty because I sucked at keeping, like, my, like, making sure that they were super clean all the time. I always got annoyed at all the dust on my glasses. And I always saw the border when I was wearing them. And frankly, a lot of people look good in glasses. I don't feel like I looked good in glasses. <laughs> That's just me. Right? Glasses make people look, like, like, uh, apparently more attractive than they are, according to studies or whatever. And, like, I I'm inclined to agree in a lot of cases. But for me, I don't think- I don't think it was for me. So I ended up doing contacts, and then putting stuff in my eye was scary, but I was willing to do anything to have good eyesight. And then I'm like, okay, it's laser eye surgery time, I I'm gonna have to save up some money for this and maybe get some payments going. And then when I ended up doing the laser eye surgery, I'm scared out of my freaking mind, because I'm like, Superman's about to laser me in my freaking eye. <laughs> But then I did some research on it, and everybody on Reddit and all these other websites, X, Twitter... <laughs> I tried calling it X, it didn't work. Yeah, everyone was saying like, oh, you don't even- you literally don't feel it at all. I didn't even know it was happening when it- when it started. Like, that's how crazy it was. But, yeah, I- I, I know that won't dissuade all your worries like it didn't dissuade mine when I heard other people's stories. Anyone could tell me- people could tell me laser eye surgery was the easiest thing in the world and just... It still didn't dissuade anything, but I, I thought it was worth it by the end. All right. <clears throat> Reddit as a kid? No, not Reddit as a kid. I'm talking about contacts like years ago. Get out of here, Daisy. Thank you, Beastly N64 again. Never knew this game skipped star spaces if a player is on it. In a task, I had the left island sunk. The CPU, uh, CPU players are standing on star space on the top island. Rolled a 27 and got seven stars in one turn. How much is that not recorded? How is that not recorded? I am about to lose so many coins here, by the way. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I roll a ten, hold on a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Okay, if I roll a ten, I can get off the island in time. Which island will it go to next? Oh, crap. Oh, no. No, no, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Because if I roll a 10, right? This island? The right island? No. Oh, no, 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 no. Did you guys realize what the problem is here? Look, these two star spaces are used up. This star space is used up. This one's about to get used up. This right island is sunk, so if I roll a 10, get the star, it's gonna skip the star space over here and go to the top island, and then the top island's gonna get sunk. So no matter what happens, I'm gonna get screwed. It doesn't matter. But if I go to the bottom island in anticipation, then I can avoid it, right? So it's a reverse, because everyone was saying, oh, you have to evacuate this island. No, I don't, right? Okay, okay. But that's only if I roll a 10. So I have to roll a 10 and then make sure I... Okay, okay. There we go. I just have to stay on the island that I'm currently on. Because everyone was like, evacuate the island. But it's like, wait a minute, no, you don't. You actually don't. Everything's good. My phone just died. It took its last breath just now. <laughs> oh, Ender Dender. What if there's an item that throws two dice, but you can drop one? Oh, you mean like you choose between the two dice rolls? That'd be really interesting. I don't know what you would call that. What would you what would you guys call that? Yeah, now we just can't go up. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Oh wait, no. This isn't the klepto. I thought it was a klepto at first. Okay, now we're gonna head down now. <clears throat> yeah, like the, the funny mushroom, you call it the funny mushroom? Yeah! Because you roll two dice, and then you choose whichever one you want. Our first duel. Our first duel, let's do it. The Zoom Zykes room. Splice and dice. That's a pretty good one. I like that. This... Yo, the splice dice. Choose shroom? Oh, man, that's a really good one. You guys are so good. Splice dice and choose shroom is really funny. Those... Okay, splice dice is really cool. I like both of those. Those are both really good names. You guys are great with that. Splice dice... You roll a dice block and it splits in half and you choose between the two rolls you get. That's a cool one. I like that. Splice dice goes crazy. Very creative. Thank you, Paul Young, for the donation. What's your favorite Mario Kart Rainbow Road track? I'd say Mario Kart 7s. I love Mario Kart 7s. Double Ashes 2 is amazing as well. Though those have a special place in my heart. My top three are Mario Kart 7s, Double Ashes, and Wii's. Those are those are my top three. Oh. Jesus, they're weaving in and out of this. I hate seeing the CPUs play this mini game. I hate seeing them play. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh. If you guys have ever played Mario Kart DS's Rainbow Road, then just know this. If you, if Mario Kart DS's Rainbow Road is your favorite, it stole a section from Mario Kart Double Dashes. All of her coins, all four coins. <laughs> I know it's not a big deal. Only four coins, no dud. No dud moments, no dud moments here, we're all good. Ooh, a twister, oh, that's kind of mean. I mean, I might be able to use that to my advantage. I can suck up that twister with my, with my Agor, but I can also get rid of all the Koopa Kid spaces as well. I guess we're gonna see what we decide upon. It looks like Dry Bones and Toad don't know what danger they're in right now. Another battle? Another mic? Dang, the four-player minigames are getting real, real low right now. Math Mortician. I can't wait to say a number into the freaking microphone for it to not register again. Because the other CPUs are so good at this game, dude. It's so bad. All right. Is it just... Okay, no, that's Daisy. That's Daisy. I was freaking out first. I'm like, is it me? Have I ever won this minigame? Have I ever won this minigame, man? I don't know if I have. Wow, Daisy is garbage. Did Daisy miss all the King Boos? Oh wait, there it is. There, you got it, you got it. That was a really low score. You could have done a lot better. I did with controller. Okay, 62. Right. Yes. Four. Oh my gosh, I'm so upset right now. Two. 
Two. Nine. Nine. Three. 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 Two. 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 Six. Six. Two. Three. Nineteen. Yo, that's an amazing score. That's an amazing score. Oh, come on. I so got this. Pause to screw them up. Doesn't actually. <laughs> Pause to screw him up. Let's go. He miss. <gasps> He's missing the King Boo. Oh. Oh, this is so it, you guys. Oh, Toad's missing. Oh, he's missing him. Oh, he missed him. He messed up so much there. Now it's just Dry Bones. This is Dry Bones. He's the only competitor we have left. He's the only competitor left. That's a four. Six, eight. Oh, he, he didn't get the bottom row. I would have gone for the bottom row. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, guys, at 15. Oh, God. Ah! Don't get the kick. Oh. Okay, we're at 18. Oh! If he got the King Boo, he could have tied at, at worst. Look, he's dead. He's dead. Oh, that was so terrifying. I was so scared. <laughs> they got screwed up. That was so close. All right, here's the island sinking event once more. Bowser doesn't even like taking pictures with us anymore, man. He's like, we're at my inferno. No more pictures. No more vacation time. Sink the island. Boink. Man, we still don't know the star the star cycle. Well, the next star is going to appear over here. Ooh, how many coins is that lost? Ooh, half of your coins. Get piranha planted. It's like a more brutal piranha plant because you can't avoid it. Um, we're in a sticky wicket now. Whatever, I don't know what that means. Where are you throwing that? All the way over there. Okay, I'm going to suck that up. Actually, I should really get rid of the Koopa Kid spaces before I threaten sucking anything else up right now. Oh. Where's she going? She has zero coins. I mean, I, I guess, you know, a chance at getting it. Alright, guys. Oh, this can be nasty if I pull it off. Alright, we're gonna use... Actually, I could purposely get Twistered right now. Nah. Nah, let's get some orbs. Let's get some orbs. All right, uh, anyone else? No other orbs. Oh, I can Klepto it. Oh, that's awesome. Let's Klepto it. But first, give me those orbs. We got a spear guy and a tweester. Zuck. And we get all of it. All right, Klepto, move it on over. Move it on over. Bring it over here. Thank you. I appreciate it. Core. What? What does core mean? Have you guys ever heard that word before? What does core mean? Is, is, is that just an ex... I assume it's just an exclamation, but I don't know what that... Core! Whatever. Core blimey. I don't know. Like, is that what it means? <laughs> I won't put them on the star space, I promise. It's, it's an exclamation for surprise. Yeah, yeah, I guess so, huh? It's British. He's British? Toadsworth, how could you betray me like this? I thought you were Australian. <laughs> I know some people get... I actually can tell the difference between a British accent and an Australian accent. I can. A lot of people struggle with that. Alright. Jump, man. Ooh, Toad has a chance at losing this. He's so British, though. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he is very British. Toadsworth is very, very British. Here we go. That's one. That's one level done. Oh, come on. I really want Toad to lose this. Oh, come on, Toad. Oh, yes, yes, he, yes. Come on, no, DK, you're giving him an easy star. No, no. Oh, my lordy. Who's spamming mushrooms in the chat, man? Why are you spamming mushrooms? You're just making him even more powerful. Let's go <laughs> Let's go okay. All right. I feel ya. <laughs> Is this how American game localizers think we talk? I think so. Okay, look. I know you guys were kind of worried about me give, giving everyone a one-star handicap. 
I think it's pretty fair right now, right? Don't you think? I think this is pretty fair. I think it's pretty fair. Toad wins, yay. <laughs> Thanks for the donation. I appreciate it, dude. Does Dry Bones even... Dry Bones, look. I'm not even sure why I'm asking. Dry Bones has no coins. No coins whatsoever. Is this Drain Gang again? I'm freaking scared. Oh, God. Here they come. Guys, Toad's not going to win. He's in second place. He's pretty far behind me right now. Yo, why am I... Why am I doubting Dry Bones? I saw what he was capable of last time. He can just do the same thing this time. Um... Eh, what? I thought he was going to land on it again. <gasps> Give me the coins. Give me the coins. Thank you, Drain Gang. I appreciate you guys so much. They're back. <laughs> These guys donating in freaking... Consecutively. I don't even know how you synced it up so well. Oh my gosh, another mic mini game. Oh... Math Mortician, why are we going back to Math Mortician? I would have liked some Clock Watchers or even Dart Attack. Even Dart Attack could have had some fun with it. We could have had a lot of fun with Dart Attack, right? You guys like some Dart Attack? Go. Blue, blue, Toad wins, boo. Something like that, man. I don't know. These donations are getting out of whack, dude. I can't even. I can't even keep track of whose side everybody is on. Oh gosh, they're really trying to run this back. Too bad they're garbage. Wow, Daisy missed all of those King Boos. That's kind of insane. Why are there so many King Boos? What an abysmal score. Can we get a 20? <clears throat> yes. Seven. Seven. Eight. Nine. Four. Four. One. 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 Four. One. Four. Four. Good score, good score. All the Mike minigames indeed. I'm on everyone's side except Zoom Zykes. You know, that's not... Oh crap. Holy crap, that was such an easy layout. Oh, that was an abysmally easy layout. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, don't get the... Okay, okay, he didn't get the King Boo. Ooh. If he got the King Boo, he would have tied with me. Holy Toad. Holy Toad, Goad. I had two King Boos in a row, that's true. But I, I complained about when a CPU gets instead of me because they're cheating. Oh, the prediction was so good. Oh. Okay, we're fine. We're fine, he's garbage. He's garbage. I'm so good at this minigame. I'm so good at this minigame. Come on, you guys. Come on. Look, look at me. Look at me. 19 points. Look at that. 19 points. I killed Dry Bones on the right. What more could you ask for me? What more could you ask for me? Throw Bones. <laughs> I'm the math master. I could do all... I could do quick maths in my head. Give me any equation. I could do all the quick maths. Oh, she can land on her own space right now, if she so chooses. Or she can land on this happening for a 1 in 8 chance. Here it comes. <laughs> you'll get a star if you do well, but you'll be in a world of hurt otherwise. That's a 1 in 2. Another 1 in 2. Ooh, okay, didn't get it, didn't get it. 2 plus 2 minus 1, 3. Oh yeah, didn't expect that, did you? Didn't expect that, did you? Now, we can mushroom all the way around. If we mushroom all the way around, they cannot afford the star. Let's do it. Let's do it. Mushroom to star. You're right. It is time. Eh. Oh, eight. Four, five. Okay, we're good. We're good. 6,852 divided by 7. 274.3. Quick maths. Told you I was quick. Oh. We can do this. We just gotta prevent Toad from winning a minigame. Unless Dry Bones lands on the blue space here. Oh, he does. Okay, we have to. We just have to make sure we win the minigame. We just gotta make sure we win it. Another battle. Oh, they can't even get second place. They can't even get second place. Oh, but Daisy doesn't even have anything to give. 
Humbug! We seem to be short. This is how British people speak. <laughs> this is how British people speak. Oh! They all chose deckhands! Oh my gosh, man! They all chose deckhands! Oh my god, this battle mini game sucks, you guys! Why do you guys like it so much? It's so bad! I've never, I haven't even won it yet! Oh my gosh. Oh! For the illusion of choice. Okay. Ten. Oh my gosh. Oh. Eleven. Oh no. Nah. Oh no, no, nope, nope. I'm not doing this. What is this? How many do we have there? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. First person in chat to give me a number is the one I choose. That's how we're doing this. 13 for Yosh. Oh, there's no 13 there. 8. Two people say 5, 6, 7, 8. A lot of people said 8. Oh my god, you guys are so garbage. Oh my god! Not even chat's good at this minigame. I swear, when we do tomorrow's stream, I hope you guys... Where are we going back? Alright, next one. Okay, I see a 3. I see a 3. Chili Kai, this one's for you, dude. Okay, nine. Okay, cool. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Pure skill. Oh, I'm gonna love to watch you guys play. He got a 13. Oh. This minigame is so cursed. My luck is so good. A 12! A 12! The 10, the 12, and the 13's already been selected. And the 11! 13, 12, 11, 10. Okay, the 2's gotten rid of. That's good. Okay, I still have a chance at not being last here if I get a nine. All right, one to five, homies. One to five. You guys give me your freaking card. You guys, you guys want to play some freaking deckhands? Let's play some freaking deckhands. Pick four. Pick four. I'll pick four. That's not what I wanted. Oh, homies, it's so freaking over. It's so over, dudes. I can't. Why do I lose this mini game so much? I lose this minigame so much. I have not gotten first place in this minigame ever. It's not as low as 9. 9 was absolutely abysmal. Wow. Everybody got into the 20s? I didn't even reach 20. I'm 5 points below the next highest person. The odds of that are just... That is just so stupid. That... Oh, they got the coins they needed to. Well, at least Daisy did. Well, no, yeah, the, the others didn't really make it out. Daisy kind of benefited the most from that. If Dud was a mini game, it would be Deckhands, and yet you guys want to choose it every time. That's kind of insane. Oh, uh, okay, she's throwing it back there. That's not the best location to put it in. Everyone's able to kind of avoid that just in case. All right, let's see if she rolls high enough. Ooh, that's pretty good. Not good enough for me though. Not if I... I could twist her. That would be very funny if I twist her, but I don't think that's the best move right now. I'm instead going to replace Toad's Orb because I am mean. Bam! I don't want to have to land on that. <laughs> okay, no, we're good, we're good. For a moment, I had to think if I uh, replaced it on the star space again. <laughs> Alright, we got a metal mushroom? For 30 coins, get out of here. Who do you think I am? A metal mushroom for 30 coins. You are crazy. Oh, this is about to be a very interesting interaction here, you guys. Okay, so does anyone here know what space Dry Bones is on right now? Well, Dry Bones is on a star space, the next one actually. And we're about to land on Klepto here, right? So, I wonder if... So we're gonna buy this star, it's gonna skip Dry Bones, it's gonna go to this space, we're gonna land on Klepto, and then it's gonna go to this space. That's gonna be really funny. This thing's gonna move around multiple times. 
Unless they land on the happening as well. Easy star block. Should end in top left, somewhere around there. Ends up going up there. And now we're going to end up moving it. Very uh, unintentional star block by Dry Bones. Alright. Move it on over. Star is going to zoom around. Going to do a little zoom check around all the way over. To the top left. We're in a pretty good position right now. I know I say it all the time, but what if I had more stars and coins than everybody combined by the end? That'd be pretty cool, right? I know I say it all the time, but that would be pretty cool. I'm gonna, I'm always aiming for it. I'm always aiming for it. Core! Mewi Max, thanks for the donation. This is my official petition donation for a Toadsworth um, <laughs> or Core emote. I don't know, that, that sounds like it'd be kind of... Guys, I think I'm gonna have to edit the video. I think I'm gonna have to edit the video. I don't know what's going on. How are we getting so many battles? Is, does this board have an increased chance? Please, guys, no. Come on. Okay, there's no deck hands here. Screw you guys. Okay, they chose Monty's Revenge. Final countdown. Ah, oh, Doesn't even matter. Why are we doing this again? So many battle mini games. What's going on? This is the most... I think I know where all the Neon Heights ones went to, right? Crap! Crap! Get away from me! Get it! Get away from me! Get away from me! Get, get, get freaking hit them instead! Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? 1906! We got it! Screw you, Toad! I'm so scared. I'm scared for the minigame star, because if these battle minigames keep keeping up as much as they have been, then my minigame star is going to be in jeopardy. Oh, I so want, I want to get more stars than everybody combined so bad. So bad. That'd be so much fun. Oh. An eight. You don't have enough coins. Because if I keep winning the minigames as much as I am, and if the battle minigames keep coming in as much as they do, then everyone coin, everyone's coin amount just keeps getting reduced. And that's amazing. We are currently on 19 out of 50. We're nearly halfway there. Couple turns to Bowser. We can throw this piranha plant. Let's throw the piranha plant here. Because that island ain't going down anytime soon. So we are free to place it there. It is not a star space. Eh. Would have liked a one. That could have been nice. One, two, three, four. We land on the red space. Or we can just head all the way back down. Uh... So we're two turns away from that. When Daisy gets the star, it's going to end up over here to the right, actually. Actually, can anyone even get the star? Toad's right there. We're kind of in a weird position right now. If I head to the right here, then in two turns, Bowser's going to be able to kind of rock my world. And I'm not very confident that I'm going to be able to get away in time. So I'm going to... Bowser's going to kill me. I'm not going to have enough spaces to get away. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna head down for this. I'm in a good position to get the star anyways. I, I'm just gonna wait till that island sinks and then I can go back up. Thank you so much, Manny! First time super chat! I love it. I love seeing the little balloons. Thank you so much. Just a simple love your content. That's all I need. That's all I need to make my day better. Appreciate you, man. Ooh, easy prana plant. I placed that one down just now. <laughs> Place it down just now. It's all good. 118. We are siphoning everybody's coins. If we can keep everyone's coins to an extremely low amount, it doesn't matter where the star is. And if the battle mini games can keep coming in, then we can just win even more. Doesn't matter. Darn, I was hoping for me to be the one person in 1v3 for a chance at a mic mini game 1v3. That would have been cool. Battery Ram. Okay. I really don't want to... Like... I want to avoid doing 2v2 minigames, so I can keep coins out of the hands of everybody. Let's see if Toad's going to be a good partner here. I want to try doing this the fastest we can. 
Very good. Very nice. I'm trying to do this somewhat fast. All right, all right, all right, all right. Quick, quick, quick. Let's go for the record. Come on, Toad, come on, Toad. We got this. We got this, dude, me and you. Me and you. Me and you, Toad, me and you. Toad is not cooperating. Toad did not cooperate. Finish. He's moving around, dude. He's moving around. Ah, question, are we screwed next stream if the mini games if the mini games are multi-button masters? I guess we'll find out. You 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 don't know what I have stored in plan. For those of you that weren't here for the beginning of the stream, watch to the end of this stream so you can get redirected to the next stream tomorrow, which is gonna be the very first Zyken chat, where both me and the chat here is going to be playing Mario Party together. I'm gonna be training you guys in the art of minigames, so when we play the stream next week and we're all playing together, right? You guys will have already practiced the minigames a bit and know how to work with one another, and we're gonna be on the same team as one another. We're gonna try our hardest to win. So it's gonna... It's gonna get a little wacky. There's no nowhere for me to use my twister. Four. We should play deck ends together. All six boards together? I, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Maybe some select boards. I'll have you guys decide between them. Maybe we'll do a couple boards together. Some of the mini games you guys are going to be really good at, like the button mashing ones, because if you guys all button mash together, it's going to be like TAS. All you guys are going to have to do is just do it in the YouTube chat here. That's all you guys got to do. You guys are going to be able to put in commands all you like. It's going to be really fun. I hope you guys are here for tomorrow. Okay. And we are going to do eight player. Don't worry about it. We're doing it all, dude. We're doing all the modes. That's what all these streams are for. All right. It's not going to be like the chat versus chat, because that one I had you guys enter the Discord server for. It's going to be here in YouTube chat, so it's going to be easier integration. Finally, a regular four-player minigame. Jeez, it's been so long since we've had a regular four-player minigame that wasn't a battle. Doesn't it feel like that? All these have just been battle minigames this entire time. Okay, I'm going to screw you guys over. I don't want to share. I don't want to share. I almost screwed myself over. Okay. All right. All right. Ooh, Toad actually lost that. There we go. Easy game, easy life. Easy game, easy life. Now Dry Bones has some. None of them have enough coins for the star still. I would really like to purchase a pink boo. Because we got rid of our pink boo. We got rid of our pink boo. This is a, this is a group effort right now. Just like it'll be a group effort tomorrow. Y'all are going on your training arc tomorrow. I'm gonna train you guys to be god Mario Party players, even if a hundred of you guys are all, like, the same brain cell. We're gonna be doing it. You'll have the commands, we'll figure it out. I'll give you guys the ability to jump kick, it'll be freaking amazing. And terrible at the same time. <laughs> oh god. Alright. Here we go, Daisy. Common Toad L, thank you, Gakum, I appreciate it. That Moa statue kind of frightened me a little bit, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Okay, okay. I cannot believe that we still don't know what the star cycle is. Cannot believe this. Like, the bottom and left island are just... I don't know. It's just it's just not working out the way we want it to. The bottom and left island are still up, I think. I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong. I'm gonna wait till it's my turn real quick. Thank you so much, dude vessel. Still at work, but I'll be back to see Toad Wave. Yes. I don't know what that means. Does that mean, wait a minute, no, you mean Toad win. That's mean, that's mean, I, I'll, I'll win this. Oh. Uh, where's the star? Oh, jeez. 15, 17, 13. Okay, we're not gonna use anything right now. Oh, that's not even enough to reach the item shop. Core, and what? 
Dude, people can sabotage all they like in the stream. Y'all are gonna have to deal with that. You know how you guys are gonna be a hive mind. You know how like you're kind of thinking about something and then all of a sudden you have like those intrusive thoughts? Some of you guys are going to be those intrusive thoughts. Thinking to yourself, what if we just purposely ran off here, right? That's how it be. Oh, he lost the one and eight. He easily lost the one and eight. Okay, okay. This can this can still end up being a battle game. No, it can't. No, it can't. I'm red. I'm stupid. 1v3. Oh, Mike. Oh, darn it. Where's the Mike mini game? Easy pickings. Oh, boy. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Oh, God. <gasps> I only had one sneeze in me. I'm a psychopath. I always say that people who do one sneeze are like psychopaths, and like that, that was me just now. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Go. Okay. All right. Good start so far. I missed that. Finish. I'm tied again. Okay, th that's fair. We, we we each ended up with the same amount. <laughs> Stupid tie. Stupid tie. I missed one of the rocks, though. Darn. Maybe that rock could have had the gem to save me. I hate doing that one, man. I hate that minigame so much. At least with playing CPUs. Like, I just end up getting the worst luck with them. Miss! Oh, Daisy's gonna... Oh, Daisy's running it back. More like Koopa Kid's running the back. He's like, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. We gotta fight again. Use A, Daisy. Daisy's like, what do you mean, A? Oh. I need a pink boo. Does anyone know where the pink boos are? That's what I need. Ugh. Okay. We... There's nowhere to use a twister right now. There is nowhere to really use a twister. We're just gonna kind of chill with a nice little, 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 little six. Super Shroom, please. Please. Oh, Pink Boo. Yes. Pink Boo. Shopping Star, too. Oh. Nice, nice, nice. Now we're to go. Four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. We can get an orb over there. Okay. Now, let's see. If the star's grabbed up there, then it's probably gonna end up going to the bottom right. Is Bowser gonna get rid of this sometime soon? It doesn't really look like it. Okay, we... This is fine, yeah, we can go up. We can get in... We can grab an orb here. And not throw it onto the star space. Thank you for the reminder. I appreciate it. <laughs> we won't throw on the star space. I see some people are a little concerned about that. <laughs> Yes, we'll make this Yoshi's Island. Oh, that's the go gosh, why didn't I think of that? I'm so stupid. If he lands in the red space here, there's another chance for a battle. Oh, he barely missed it. You need more coins. Oh my gosh. Dude, I love the interactions here on this board. Did you guys see what the Goomba just said? He's like, y you need more coins. I, I can't lower it anymore. Mr. Bowser's gonna get angry. <laughs> or like when you first go there, he's like, buy some orbs. Please, please buy some orbs. <laughs> He's fearing for his life. Like, there's a certain quota he has to- he has to get unless Bowser banishes him into the lava. <laughs> okay, Dry Bones. Time to hydrate you. Finish. Bro, are you serious? Dry Bones. He wanted to get hydrated. I'm kind of convinced Dry Bones wanted to get hydrated. <laughs> GG. GG, man, GG. <laughs> that was, I mean, that was easy. There you go. <laughs> dry Bones was like, man, I'm feeling a little dry right now. I need this. Have you guys, has it ever been so hot outside that you guys might just take a hose and just blast yourself with it? Or you might just take a shower. Or like, like, I'm sure some people have done that. They'll just take the hose and just drench themselves. Or they'll just go take a dip in the pool if they have one. Sometimes you gotta do it. Back to wet bones. Daisy actually got a star here. I'm a little scary. Or a little scared. Ugh, all the time. 
You live in SoCal, believe me, it happens. Oh yeah, I know the field, don't worry. West Coast, best coast. Next star's over here. I think that's the first time, correct me if I'm wrong, I think that's the first time we've seen that star spawn. But we still don't know if it's the seventh spawn or the eighth because of the island on the right. We still don't know. It's so stupid. It could have skipped the one or this could just be the next one. My favorite flavor of ice cream for a hot day. I like cookie dough, dude. I freaking love cookie dough ice cream. Oh my gosh. Why'd you even ask me that question? It's so good. Oh. I... Okay. Okay, I'm not placing it somewhere stupid. This is... I think this is a fair spot. But where... If it ends up getting got, it ends up going to the very bottom. Okay. So this is alright then. This 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 should work. This should work. Because everyone's gonna end up going in the main route here. Okay, there is no star space here, so we are good to throw it down over here. We got ourselves some spaces. Happy oh birthday cake ice cream. No, that's pretty good. Birthday cake ice cream. It's a funny flavor, isn't it? Birthday cake ice cream? All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Daisy's gonna... Actually, Daisy very well might not get that. How far away from Bowser time? Not very far. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. What are the odds of everybody else changing this with Klepto? Uh, Toad has a 10% chance to change that with Klepto. Dry Bones has a 0% chance. Oh, wait, no. Not if he lands on that. That's a little far away. Okay, we can take our odds. That's fine. We just gotta prevent Daisy from winning the next minigame. And we got a red space star up. Oh boy! The best bonus star! Oh! That was really close. I was a little nervous about that. I thought he had that. Oh, he landed on the star space too. Okay, okay. Let's see dry bones now. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, oh, crap. Did he land on the... Oh, he got his magic orb. Dry bones, it's online. Oh, a duel. I wonder who he's going to duel. We've had a pretty good lead this whole time, don't you guys think? It's been pretty good. Unless Dry Bones loses a star to Daisy here. Oh no. Even if Dry Bones... No, okay, no. Dry Bones doesn't have enough coins. Okay, we're good. We already had a duel. This is, this is the second duel. This is not the first duel. This is the second duel. Wait for it. Oh, good. Crap, man. Thank God. I, I hate doing this one. Leave wait for it for them. If there's any kind of Mario Party RNG that prevents minigames from being two times, you know, selected two times in a row, please let it happen here. I know it probably doesn't, but... Oh, come on, CPUs. Keep going. Keep it going. You got it. You got it. I really want Dry Bones to win this. Oh, Dry Bones, come on. You beat me up all the time. Oh, Daisy, you've got it. Oh, you've got it, Daisy. Jesus, Dry Bones, you're crazy. There was only one ball on Dry Bones' side. He's insane. Holy crap, I'm scared of him. He's so good at that minigame. Now take your star. Take your star, do it, take the star. Yes! 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 Dry Bones W. Dry Bones W. And no dud, because he was in fourth place. For those of you spamming dud, remember, if you're in fourth place, you can't get a dud. It does not exist, and now I'm with Dry Bones. I'm with my future self. Oh, no. This is really bad, because now we're going to give Daisy enough coins to actually purchase the star. How many coins does Daisy need? How many coins does Daisy need? Uh, I think Daisy needs like seven? I think it was around seven, I believe. Okay, I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to try and prevent Daisy from getting seven coins. Dry Bones, I need you to work with me, homie. Okay, they're at one right now. We're kind of... Oh, we're boxing them in. Very nice. As long as they don't get lucky with the coins spawning right on top of them there. Ooh, okay, good. We prevented them from getting that. Nice. Because she's just at two. Ooh, another coin spawn there. We don't really like that. Ten seconds left. We're good. As long as the coin bag doesn't spawn on them. Good. Four. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're fine. Oh, they're at five. Oh, we're good. We got a lot of coins out of that too. Very good boxing. I was a little concerned that boxing them in 
would prevent us from getting a lot of coins ourselves, but that didn't end up being the case. We got 16 coins out of that. that that's the amount that I normally get in the regular play. Very nice, very nice. Daisy's at 18, that's not enough. Unless she throws a freaking orb down and gets some coins out of it. Ah, she got so many. She got four out of it. Just roll out, just roll out. Oh, she's so cool. Oh my God. Darn it, we tried. We tried our hardest, you guys. We tried. To no avail. She got four coins out of it too. Man, she could have gotten a single coin out of it. She could have gotten none out of it, but she managed to do it. And the mic space, which we're gonna have to sit through. Oh my lord. You wanna see something funny? There, that's something funny. How about they make it so we don't waste our freaking time? How about that? I'm not watching a two-coin my freaking minigame. You can have that. You can have that, too. I don't care. It's two coins. You won? Good job. <laughs> King Crimson. With the facts. Toadsworth fun fact. He can skip time. There we go. Now we'll turn this back on. <laughs> Sorry, I just did not want to watch that. <laughs> oh my lord. There, I saved you guys like 10 minutes of your life. Alright. Let's see what else we got here. We've got the star at the very bottom, which nobody is really going to be able to move towards. I'm just going to throw my spiny down like... I threw it down in the star space. That's okay. Did I turn off mic? No, I didn't. It's okay. Y'all are tripping. No, you guys made the same mistake I did. You guys made the same mistake I did. The mic, okay, that wasn't the mic being turned off. Um, When a mic action is in progress, you can't change the mic. So if you're about to play a mic mini game, you can't pause it and then change your controller to GameCube, for example, right? You can only change the mic when a mic event isn't about to go on. Something like that. <laughs> Unless I did click on it. Uh, if I did click on it, then that's my bad. I'm not lying about that. But when a mic... Like, look, next time we land on the mic space, I'll show you guys. It'll be X'd out. Oh, text to fast? Okay, I got a pink boo here. How in advance does it know that, including before a junction? No, not before a junction. It doesn't know it. Uh, let me change the text speed, though. There we go. Yeah, my running star is getting obliterated right now. <clears throat> It's not before junction. The moment you land on a mic space, it X's it out. The moment you land on it. Good spiny. Landed on the star space. Kind of crazy. Ooh, he's avoiding it. Oh, that's so sad. Did he land on it? Holy crap, I didn't know that's how it works. Man, I should have done more research on that. Oh my gosh, like it didn't activate. Because he landed on it with the magic orb. I thought it was going to activate after the fact. Very interesting. Little details, man. I'm telling you, every Mario Party has so many, like, micro situations that happen. Okay. Ooh, I'm so fast. I'm so fast. Here we go. You guys are ready for the speed. Oh, so fast. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, it only activates when passing, yeah. that. W in previous Mario Party tiles, some of them don't work like that. Point out, Bob. It is such a one-sided minigame. It's really dumb. I don't know why it just doesn't show all of our stuff all at once. And then give them three at once, too. I, I mean, the, the minigame, look, 18 to 15, some of you guys might be saying, oh, that's not super one-sided. When I'm playing, like the person on the left, I can get it up to like 21, 24. So it ends up being like an eight-coin difference. And if there's less skilled players in the you know team of three, everything gets rough. Because you have to keep in mind, those are brutal CPUs. But if you're playing with human players, they make mistakes. It ends up getting bad. Uh, yeah, red space is always a wild card. It's always annoying to deal with. And that was enough. Oh my god. The same deal, you guys. She's about to land on a freaking mic space. She's about to land on a mic space with two coins. 
You know what? I'm just gonna let them take the wheel. Clearly they wanted us to watch it. Clearly the game wants us to watch this. It's the same situation. It's literally the same situation. It is seriously the same situation. She paid 20 coins for a star and then landed on the mic space. Like, how can I turn mic off after that? How can I? I can demonstrate, you're right. I can I can uh, pause it right after this. I could have paused it there. You're in the middle of a thunderstorm watching this? Well, I hope you make it through all right. <laughs> I'm sure that's chill watching Mario Party as the rain's like pattering outside your window. Nice grapes. Oh, here you go. It's an orange strawberry. Sorry, I don't know my fruits. Oh. Wow. You are stupid. You lost two coins from that, Daisy. You are so dumb. Are you guys ready for this? Oh, crap. Come on. Let me pause. Let me pause. Let me pause. Let me pause. I can't pause. I'm sorry, you guys. I'll do it next time. Next time I land in it. I promise. Uh, okay, that's where my pink boo is. Where's the star? Is the star about to get obliterated? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Alright, we'll throw it up here then. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is a good spot. We'll throw it right here. You love to see it. Good old pink boos. You love to see him. I gotta get me some more pink boos. I need more pink boos. I can't even head right. Yo! Get ready for the biggest mic space of your freaking life! We're about to boost up our coins. I would bet all of them if I could. 198. Now, this is a little bit scary because the mic screwed up a little bit earlier. When I was doing the car minigame, it screwed up. So as long as it doesn't screw up here... Let's just hope. I'm, I'm gonna say it very, very cleanly. I'm gonna say it so clean, you guys are gonna think I'm doing text-to-speech. <clears throat> I didn't pause the game. I'm sorry, you guys. Maybe I can pause it when it's on my turn, though. We'll see. <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> oh god, never mind. No, no text-to-speech. Apple. Grapes. Banana. Orange. I'm just screwing with you guys. I didn't have the mic turned on. <laughs> Banana. <laughs> Strawberry. <laughs> I got some of you guys. I got some of you guys. <laughs> There's some of you guys in the chat, dude. Some of you guys fell for it. <laughs> you can do that fake out in any mic mini game where you can you can make it seem like you're saying a word when you're actually not. Let's go. You weren't worried. <laughs> Look at all these coins, dude. I can hear that from here. You can win this. Thank you so much, Manny. That's so generous. I appreciate you so much, dude. I appreciate all the donations. So generous, dude. These streams have been crazy with how many donations. Can I just say that? It is crazy. Even for those of you that haven't donated, I really appreciate the support. Everyone, because I keep seeing familiar faces. I keep seeing people come back over and over again. Man. Makes me emotional. I can't get emotional though. I have to, I have, to I have a freaking Mario Party game to play. I appreciate you, Manny. That's all, that's all I have to say, though. Thank you so much. All right, that wasn't a pink boo, though. We're at 250! This is a stupid taunt. Ooh. Have you ever played Disney's Party? No. I have not. Oh, come on, you could have landed on mine. That would have been nice. Oh. Battle? Darn it, I was waiting for it again. Not Cointagious, please don't- Oh my gosh. Oh lordy. <laughs> Taunt tier list win. Come on, Mario's taunt's just the best. I know chat would probably say that the best taunts in this game are Mario, Daisy, and Toadette. Not in that order. Mario, Daisy, and Toadette's taunts are amazing in this game. They're so funny. Mushroom! 
Mushroom. Oh, I have... I got a lot of coins out of that. 15, wow. This minigame is so bad. It's so bad. Yeah, we've got Hey Stinky, Luigi sneezing. You're lousy. <laughs> You're lousy. I need them to bring back the Mario Golf taunts, dude. I'm sick of Nintendo taking them away from me. I need the, the mean taunts, dude. I want the mean ones. You're lousy. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> All right. What are some of Waluigi's taunts in Mario Golf? I totally forgot. Wait, guys, we might be able to figure out the seventh and eighth star spawn now. Finally, one of the islands that got brought down that wasn't the bottom one. Or, I'm sorry, wasn't the right or top one. Seriously? You're aiming there? You look ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I love it. I like the seriously you're aiming there. That one's a really funny one. Very nice. Oh, Daisy's heading up. Ooh, if Daisy rolls a one, she loses a star here. If Daisy rolls a one, she loses a star. One in ten chance. Ah, oh, and another mic. Are you sweating? You know I win. <laughs> oh my lord! Two coins. Only cheaters mess up. I did. I tried pausing. <laughs> Dude, we're never gonna get it. <laughs> we're never gonna get it. We're never going to get it, dude. I'm so bad. I don't even know if I, I... I paused earlier, didn't I? I guess it was too late there. It's only two coins, but whatever. Toadsworth fun fact number 12. My favorite video game is Shrek Super Slam for the PlayStation 2. My favorite. Mike. Oh, the mic's in front of the mushroom. That's kind of cute. Fun fact, I retired after the new Super Mario Brothers DS. Oh, that's so sad. Don't say that. Bring him back. I can't pause. Man. Whatever. Where's the star? Oh, Toad's over there. Oh, Toad might get a twofer. Can I prevent him from doing that? Throw it up? Nah, I can't do it like that. Oh, what is that? What's that orb over there? Okay, well, first of all, let's get this one out of here. I do not want that. Four? Guys, I'm scared. I don't know what that was. A spiny? I could land. I could duel. I could duel. Uh... Is there a chance that I can go down there and reach before Toad gets multiple stars is the thing. Uh. Let's do some duels. Let's do a duel. I'm a dual toad. I'm a dual toad. Let's get him out of here. Time to outskill. I can get half of his coin so he can't even get the star too. That'd be pretty cool. Apes of Wrath, please. Mad props. Crap, the CPU's so good at this one. Oh, I'm so screwed. It's over, you guys. I'm gonna go focus Zyke real quick. Oh, I'm so bad at this one. Okay. I'm so good at this minigame, you guys. I'm so cool. That's my focus mode. 36.50, that was pretty good, that was pretty good. I did it, I, I kind of had it in my head, I kind of did it. They're gonna star. Star. Star, 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 star. No duds, no duds, no duds. I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna look. Okay, I'm not looking right now. <laughs> Toad sounded happy. What'd I get? Oh, coins! Yes! I was gonna go base off of uh, Toad's worth. Oh, no, that's only half. Darn it, man. Half? Aww. Oh. Yeah, spam stars in the chat, not the duds. 
We have the evil guy spamming the dud emote. They really did a membership for me. Just to dud the emote. Oh, he's getting cannoned. Guys, I would think that if... If you go out of your way to be a member of, of the Zoomzike channel, that you would want me to win, not hope for a dud! Yes, the stars. Yes, some of you aren't evil, some of you are kind. <laughs> You're lousy. <laughs> no, don't you reverse mushroom me. <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh, he loses 10 from this. He won't be able to afford the other star, even if he reaches it. Where's he land? I think he lands on the happening. Oh, man. So many roadblocks. So little egg orbs. Zoom, we want you to thrive, but still be challenged. That's why I added a star for everybody. Crave Chaos. Ooh, I don't like Dry Bones' position right now. He's at six. Ugh. I need them to land on some of my pink booze. That's what I need. Oh, he's taking the coaster. Oh, man. Is he just spamming jumps? Dude, his spamming of jumps was like, perfect. Wow. That was good. I think he was off by one, but that was still really good. Nice. Oh, not another Mike mini game. Math mortician. Oh my lord, I'm sick of doing maths. Stop giving me math. I'm sick of this. When will we get Balloon Blusters? Blusters. Busters. Right? Where's Balloon Busters? Oh. Quick maths. Six, five. Oh, two. Oh, Daisy's actually playing this one pretty good now. Never mind, I spoke too soon. Daisy's garbage. Oh. Oh, who am I kidding? 18's a really good score. I'm a math god. Check this out. <clears throat> Yes. Six. Eight. Six. Eight. Seven. Six. Three. One. 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 Eight. Three. Five. Five. Three. Four. Okay, 21, 21. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Pretty good score. Pretty good score. That was pretty high. That was pretty high, right? Everyone doubting me in the chat. 20 plus. 21's great. Very good record. Very good record. Pretty happy. Math my mortician, dude. Math my mortician. You, you're petulant 18. You're petulant 18. Is it possible to get rid of all the booze? Probably. Not your <laughs> Oh, yeah, I guess a little bit. <laughs> Seven. Seven. Where were you shooting, Dry Bones? I mean, I guess you should be happy. Yeah, that is pretty good. Fourteen. Dude, I got so many points. You can add up all of their points together, and I'd still be higher. Fun fact. Pretty crazy, right? You love to see it. You love to see it. Throw bones again. <laughs> Look, I just want to see where the next star in the cycle is. <laughs> Thank you, nothing fancy. Hey, Zyke. Excited to see the final party board. Who's the biggest threat to your inevitable victory? Yes, my inevitable victory. Right now, dry bones is kind of mean. I'm a little scared of dry bones. <gasps> yes, Toad can eat that. Nice. Toad can eat it. It's either a spine or a twister. I know the item table says warp pipe, but I don't know why it's on there. I'm going to be honest. I'm a mathematician and math mortician. I'm also a mortician, too. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, he's activating all of these orbs for us. Thank you, Toad. You're so kind. Any hey, welcome back. You know that one SpongeBob episode where Squidward's trying to get off of the Flying Dutchman ship? And then he ends up coming all the way back, and then Dutchman's like, Welcome back! You know, that's that's it right there. I'm manifesting not clock watchers. I'm manifesting some balloon busters, man. That's what I want to see. Yeah, Shanghai. Yeah, exactly. Tweester. Ooh, very good placement, actually. Because Dry Bones knows that if someone starts going for the star, he's able to, like, dissuade them from getting it or prevent them from getting it, even if he rolls low. Oh, man. 
he can land on the happening on the bottom. Ooh, he's at he's getting a first place now. That's a little a little scary. Let's see. My Japanese isn't all that good. It's very it's pretty basic. Basic words. It's still like N5, maybe N4 level. Maybe N4 level. If you wanted to go off of that. Oh! Oh, that might have helped him. Okay, no, that didn't help him. I mean, kind of. He, he's like right before a space here. He's right before the item shop. Okay. 2v2 with Daisy. I don't like giving Daisy. I don't like giving Daisy any coins here. Oh, our first spider stomp. Our first spider stomp. Let's do it. N4 is still good. It's it's not as far as I want to be, of course, but I, I, I'd say around N4. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> the Uncle Joe's. <laughs> oh, we're behind. We're behind. We're behind. All right. All right. All right. All right. If I'm not working on videos or playing games, I'm studying Japanese. That's kind of how I am. Okay, we caught up, we caught up. Oh, oh, come on, hit him! Hit him! Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. You're so late, or so late, don't worry, Will Lover. It's okay. We're just reaching the second half of the game, there's still a lot to enjoy. We haven't even gotten to the climax yet. Oh, Daisy, you hit me. Gosh, that stunned me for so long. Move to the left, Daisy. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, man. Everything is okay. Let's go. We saved the flutter. We saved the day. 306 coins. Oh my lord. I'll always say I'll study Japanese, but never do. That's fair. It's a really hard language to study. I use every resource. If someone asks me like, oh, how do you study? I use everything, man. I don't really use the textbooks. I just use stuff online. I learn the grammar first. I watch anime. I sentence mine. I, I go through it, little conversations and stuff, try writing stuff out, writing the kanji, everything, everything you can imagine is probably what I'm doing. The key is to have fun with it though, because then you'll stay consistent. Uh, I need to get at least a four to visit the item shop. Oh, It looks like... Interesting, so... It looks like this is the seven star space then. Huh. Okay, well, at least a- Oh, Aww, oh, man. Tsuburashi. <laughs> uh... No, I don't use Duolingo. I- I mean, some people do use Duolingo. I'm not really- I'm not- I'm not Duolingo man myself. Yusha, any games you're looking forward to? For me, it's MK1. I'm looking forward to Super Mario Bros. Wonder. That's what I like to see, man. Because <sighs> the Super Mario Bros. Wonder, is that what it's called or is it just called Super Mario Wonder? I'm not sure if it's called uh, either or. It looks so fun. I'm just happy we're out of the new Super Mario Bros. era. Everybody's just been, everyone's been so new soup, like, focused, you know? And I, I feel like we've kind of moved away from it. Like, new Super Mario Bros. DS, banger, right? New Super Mario Bros. Wii, playing four-player, oh, banger, so much fun, right? And then we got to new Super Mario Bros. U, and it's like, okay, this is an HD, it's kind of cool, we got, you know, new power-ups, it's okay, right? It, it's fun. And then we got new Super Mario Bros. 2, and then new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, and then Luigi U, and then... I'm just sick of it, man, no, we were done with it, you know? It's like... Finally, a new 2D Mario... It's like all the new soups feel like one another, but Super Mario Brothers feels different from Super Mario Brothers 2, which feels different from 3, which feels different from World, man. God, get that variety. Okay. Easy Yoshi, easy Yoshi. Get away from me, Daisy. Oh, I just pushed her into a wall. That was hilarious. I'm now going to laugh. <laughs> oh. I can't wait for Super Mario Bros. Wonder, though, dude. I'm excited to see what the other characters' power-ups are going to be. Because I know Mario's an elephant, but I think there's a very decent chance that not everybody's going to be an elephant. I saw, like, fan art of, like, Luigi being a giraffe, and maybe, like, what, Daisy being a rhino? And, uh... 
I don't know, Peach being like a bird or something. And Yoshi being a horse. I, that, that one went around. I'm sure some of you guys saw that one. Luigi being a giraffe is really funny. I don't know why that fits so much. Well, like that, that feels like it would fit a lot, doesn't it? Luigi as a giraffe? I don't know. Oh. Daisy's getting blasted. Yeah, please send the star to my island. One of you guys in chat, I need it. Luigi do be kind of tall. Ooh. Not a red space. Okay, okay. Can we stop rolling once, please? Thank you. I appreciate it. I need some movement. Oh, but that's another pink boo. Screw the movement. I want pink boos. Screw the movement. I want to keep throwing some pink boos down. We keep getting them. What are we on? We're over halfway through, you guys. We are 60% way through. Anything can happen. We got the shopping star too. 302 coins. We got to make sure we get rid of the Koopa Kid spaces. That's what we really got to do. My greed will be my undoing. No, my greed will be my victory. There's no way I'm going to have more stars than everyone combined. Everyone just got too many coins. I tried preventing them. All the battle spaces that we had, like, really helped out a lot. And look at Dry Bones. This is the third time Dry Bones has used a Super Shroom with no apparent goal in sight. Is he going to go in a circle? This dude. This dude. This dude. Come on. 999 coins? No way. I'm not going to get that high. If I could bet over 99 coins on the mic space and bet 302 coins, I'd do it. I'd do it. It's easy to win the mic minigame. Unless you say something and then you're wrong and yada yada. He really wants that star. They're hoping they'll take pity on him. Track and yield or picture this, please. Not snow ride. That's okay. That's okay. I can't wait for you guys to do snow ride tomorrow. <laughs> oh man, I can't. I did some test stuff with some peeps. It's gonna be so much fun, you guys. Having chat control Mario Party. Oh man. It was already fun, but having you guys play with me on the mini games is gonna be even better. Okay. Good turns. Oh, I'm kind of cutting these close. <gasps> yeah. Okay, okay, I got, I got. Ah! Okay, 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 okay. We're fine, we're fine. Oh, I'm so close. To everybody else. <gasps> okay. It's okay, it's okay. Ah! Okay, we're fine. That was me, right? This is me. Uh, it won't be rough. It won't be rough. I'll set the CPU's difficulties to easy. It's a, it's gonna be a lot closer than you guys think. The easy CPUs are so freaking bad. I'm not going to put you guys up against brutal CPUs. Don't worry. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. That was really close, though. Might need to change my shorts. Not even just my underwear. My shorts. Ooh, five. Ooh, who's going to get that star? Who's going to get that star? Oh, Bowser time's about to activate. Okay, I'm going to throw the pink boo onto their island here. Ooh, I don't know if that's a good move, actually. This island's about to get destroyed, maybe? I'm gonna hold on to it. I'm gonna find a better spot to place it. Okay, land in my space, or... Uh... I don't really like where I am right now. Let's see... If I... This is kind of bad. Because I'm not landing on the space. I'm gonna... Bowser's gonna... They won't be able to get the star? Oh, that's right. They can't get the star. You're so right. You're so right. Unless... No, yeah. There, there was no chance for them getting it. I was thinking that if there was a DK space close by, but the bottom island... The bottom island's gone. Theoretically, one of them could have landed on DK. So we can head left safely. We can get some coins out of this. 317. <clears throat> Make sure on the stream tomorrow that we set chat to Daisy. You guys will decide. In the chat, in the chat, I'm sorry, Jesus. <laughs> in the stream tomorrow, I will have you guys decide which character you go between. Whoa, 969, 24. Holy crap, Toad. Too bad that didn't amount to anything. Hey, what? Nay, 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 nay. He's gonna go around in a circle again. 
Toesworth is going to be like, look, I'm telling you, you don't got enough. Hey, what? Didn't I just see you here? This dude. This dude. This poor guy going in circles, yeah. Metal mushroom. Yo, dry bones? Metal bones. Holy crap, my GameCube lagged for a moment there. You can't even see his eyes anymore. Yo, he's like, I'm gonna intimidate Toadsworth. It didn't work. Aww, oh, if you headed left, you might have been able to... <gasps> Ooh, roast everybody. No. No. It doesn't even look like it hits them. It looks like they jump a little beforehand. That's really funny. Now I'm kind of regretting not going that direction. That's okay. Ah, 1v3. Pogo, a go-go. You love to see it. Am I 1 or 3? I didn't see. It's time. It's time. I'm gonna kill them. Oh god. I hate being the solo player here. Being the solo player here is so terrible. Maybe if I just keep holding this direction, I'll get rid of all of them. <clears throat> what do you guys think? <laughs> I can't believe it worked. <laughs> the previous times I played that minigame against brutal CPUs, I changed directions a lot and it didn't do anything for them. They were able to adapt, but holding a single direction did more? I, I guess that's what I get for applying strats against human players onto CPUs. They're about to lose so many coins here, it's over. It's over. Here we go. Boink! All of y'all! Why doesn't it show them on the... It's a little weird how it doesn't show them there, huh? Bottom Island is back, baby. That's cool. All your coins. Drybones doesn't have any, I'm so sad. High-level CPUs are usually very reactive, so doing nothing confuses and upsets them. Maybe... They get bored. They, they they need the intellectual stimulation. Roll a one! Roll a one! Come on! Another two? I am so sick of watching Daisy play my minigames! You just need to roll a one! Oh my gosh! I'm throwing a pink boo. I'm throwing a pink boo ahead. If not a single player loses a star here, I'm gonna be pretty mad. Oh my gosh! Homies, I forgot to pause. <laughs> I'll remember one of these days. <laughs> I'll remember one of these days, you guys. <sighs> oh, no, I love I love Daisy, but Daisy's being a bit of a hassle here. This isn't successful. Getting two coins or eight coins of this isn't successful. You are so terrible. Who just said successful? Look, she lost it. How can she not remember that? I'm spamming it. I'm spamming the start button. I can't. I'm spamming it. I have to do it before, dude. Okay. I got it for these guys. If these guys are about to land on it, I so will. I so will. Okay. Is this where a star? Okay, no, no, no. The star's uh, behind me. All right. All right. Here we go. Two pink boos in a row. Two pink boos in a row. Where's the star? Three, four. <gasps> okay, good. Oh, this is so it. I can get the star here, and then the cannon, if it blasts me down to the bottom, right? Oh, this is so it, you guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. To the bottom island. Oh, wait. The star order. Oh, the star cycle, I totally forgot about it. Oh, man. I totally forgot that's how it worked. Oh, this is so stupid. Man. I'm upset. What happened? What happened? Did they get it wrong? Oh, it's a freaking three. Oh. Thank you, Hyperdimension. I appreciate it. I am so upset. Throws like 
Uh, roll a one or a three. Just roll a one or a two. I'm fine with that. Did you just... Okay, no, they don't replace doors. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, now I'm aware of it. Oh, man. I'm sorry, you guys. I know you really wanted to see the mic space. They are so broke. It doesn't really matter. They're broke. They won't be able to afford anything anyways. Don't battle minigame. Mic minigame. Can we get Bloom Busters? There it is. Bloom Busters, please. My child. Yes! Finally! Oh my god! We haven't had Bloom Busters in so long! Thank you. Thank you. It is time. We are so in. <clears throat> oh, it's so in. Can I get a bigger in the chat? Bigger. Crap, hold on. Bigger. 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 <laughs> yes. Even more. Even more! Once it's our turn again. Here we go. Yo, Drybones is doing it. Oh, he's going crazy. He's going crazy. Ah, nah. 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 Bigger. 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 Ah! This is so sad. <laughs> this is so sad. <laughs> this is so sad, man. <laughs> I hate to see it. Go up. Lose 10 coins. It's okay, it's okay. It, it, it was a bit of a skill issue. It was a bit of a skill issue, that's fine. Where am I going? Can I just reach the item shop? No? Okay, cool. That's fine. Thank you, Cat Valentine. I appreciate that you're having a good time here. Nice six, nerd. Ooh, what is he gonna get? Mushroom? Easy mushroom, you'll love to see it. Eating his own kind. How does Toad feel about eating mushrooms? That's the real question we need to ask ourselves. I wonder why he made a purchase despite not being able to afford the star. I guess he wasn't hoping for a battle minigame or anything like that. And they are still avoiding... Oh, come on. Oh, my freaking... You know, honestly? Hey, guys. You know what's a good idea? What if I don't get the star and I just let them, being broke, go in a circle so that I have an increased chance at them losing stars via Pink Boo, right? Because if I go get the star right now, right, then that's going to make it so they leave this area and they aren't aware of the Pink Boo. So, they can just keep going in circles, being broke as a joke, and I have a high chance at siphoning a lot of stars from them. Yeah, right? You gotta use your head a little bit, they're totally clueless. And now he has coins. Battle minigame? Another Mike minigame. This is crazy. Oh. Dart attack. Oh no. I can't do dart attack, please. Oh god, please don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I want to play. I want to do it. I hate dart attack with the mic. Oh, I go last. Okay, let's see what we... Oh, wait. No, I don't. I go second. Oh. What is it? Fire? Oh. I'm going to throw up. Okay, here we go. Yes. Fire! 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 Okay. I mean, 100. I mean, I lost. God, I hate playing this with the mic so much. I hate playing with the mic. It's terrible. Daniel! Another Muppets Party Crew Super Chat. What is wrong with you? How dare you? It was on all major platforms. I like how you, it's almost like it's sponsored or something. You really think I'm going to play a Muppets game that bad? I'm a Mario Partier, not a Muppets Partier. Oh, Dry Bones, you're crazy. Finish. Oh, hey, the, the numbers are in order. Look, isn't that cool? It goes up by tens. 100, 120, 130, 140. Right? That's cool, it's cool, it's cool. <laughs> 
I can use the controller as the mic and whatever, but I know people want to use the... I, I, I know people want to see me actually use the mic. <laughs> Please, just land on my pink boo. Just land on my pink boo, dude. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. She can lose this? Wow, she actually lost this. All right. I am at 314. Very nice, very nice. Let's see what orbs we have at our disposal here. No pink booze, super shroom. Ooh, okay, let's get a super shroom. Our movement across the boards has been pretty crappy, I'm gonna be honest, because we've gotten multiple ones, which isn't very nice. Three, four, five. We can land on the happening up there. Let's land on the happening up there. We got ourselves some shrooms. We're going to get our happening count up. We get our orb count up by using the super shroom, and we can get our running bonus star up. Because I believe, unless I'm mistaken, I think dry bones might have running star. My coins were pi, 3.14. Nice. We love our pi coins. All right. One, two, or three. Oh, he has mushrooms. That's right. <laughs> Toad's like, I'm going to get 20 coins out of this. Roll of one. Oh, that three would have been so nice. Man, that's okay. I think you just land on a regular space. Come on, guys, land on a pink boo. I'd love to see it. No, Dry Bones definitely has running star. Yeah, for sure. Duel me. No duels. 2v2? Maybe? Nope. Another mic minigame. Who could have guessed, everybody? Man. Oil Crisis. We're doing Oil Crisis again? Oh man, they must love these Mike minigames. Wow, a Mike minigame! you love to see it! <laughs> I can't wait to drive. Properly this time. Alright, Daisy, here we go. The Mike sweep. Eh. Ooh, where are you going, Daisy? Oh, Daisy's kind of screwing up here. Okay, no, uh, no, we're fine. Yeah, she still has a mushroom. The, this oil layout was pretty kind to her. Yeah, she's fine. She's good. It is so unfair that she's able to use that immediately. Right equals left, you're correct. Here we go. Yes. <laughs> right. Right. Left. Right. Crap. Left. Why'd that count? Right. Mushroom. Left. Left. Right. Dude, I freaking hate this minigame so much. These mic minigames are gonna make me cry. Crap equals left? I didn't know crap equals left. For those of you that are trying to screw over your partners, just say... Like, like if your friend's playing this mic minigame... Just go, oh, crap! You look like you're about to run into the oil there, and then they'll turn left. Yeah, crap confirmed code word. <laughs> Man. Yo, Toad's actually gonna make this. I am so upset. He didn't deserve that. What equals right, then? Yeah, I guess crap goes left. I don't even know how crap means left. What part of that? We have left, crap. Maybe the ah part, right? Like the left, crap. Maybe I said it kind of similar like that. Whatever. Ah, Daniel says, the CPU isn't landing on your pink boot because you're clowning Muppets Party Cruise. <laughs> I'll clown it as much as I like. Look, I'll consider Muppets Party Cruise if I lose this Mario Party. I'll consider acknowledging its existence. Look at the Goombas do the wave. Look at them go. I always think that the wave is like such a cool thing in sports. I'm not like a super huge fan of sports, but watching the wave always, it's, it's just humanity, man. I know it sounds kind of cheesy, but it's humanity. Like no matter what your beliefs are in that crowd, if you're part of the wave, everyone's part of it with one another, you know, it's so cool. All right, where to next? I could get this star. Okay, wait. No, I should totally get the star. They're stuck here anyways, right? There's no reason for me to not get the star. 
Because they're going to go one cycle around anyways for the pink boo. Hmm. One? Okay, okay. I mean, as long as we get something higher. Okay. Wow, that was a terrible roll. Am I going to land on my own pink boo? Darn, no pink boos here. Let's get another super shroom. Muppets guy, my favorite person now is like, Afri, you're supposed, you're my mod, you're supposed to be on my team here. <laughs> you can't hope for my demise. That's not how it goes. Look, don't worry, don't worry. All the way down, we'll be making our way down there. Am I able to get two in a row? Oh wait, no, I, I didn't get a high one. Okay, now as long as everybody else rolls there too. You don't have another mushroom, do you? It's a metal shroom, right? Yeah, it's okay, it's a metal shroom. Three. Okay, don't. If they land on that happening and blast away, I'm going to be pretty upset. <clears throat> okay, we're good. <gasps> Did he land on it? I think he landed on it, you guys. Yo, it's so time. Oh, it's so time. Yes. Finally. Finally. Pink Boo! Finally! Oh, it's so time, dude. We are so back. We are so back, dude. Hoping for my demise just so I play Muppets Party is probably one of the evilest things I've seen in chat, and I've seen some evil chat messages. We are so back, though. Screw Muppet Party, man. I'm playing some Mario. He died! That's what Muppet Party did to him. Yo guys, you guys ready for another Mike minigame? Hope you guys are ready for another Mike minigame. Don't be- <laughs> No! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this again. I still got this. I'm gonna try hard. I'm gonna try, okay? This is serious Zyg time. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do the timings. <clears throat> yes. Fire. 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 Darn it, dude, I missed the 50. Gosh, that was just a little closer. If everyone else is at 110. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, screw you, Toad. I'm going to devour your entire kind for dinner tonight. I have mushrooms in my fridge. They're your friends, Toad. Every single one of those mushrooms you've probably met before, whether it be in middle school, high school, college, I'm going to chow down every single one of them in the order you met them. And take a picture of it and show it to you. I'll make you watch as I consume every one of your friends. So anyways, back to Mario Party. We're having fun. I hope they land on my pink boo space. I think she landed on another happening. Spear guy. Holy crap. I think she has happening. She totally does. Casual Toad W. Screw you, Paul. <clears throat> guys, come on. Oh, guys, come on. Drain gang. Homies. There's nothing more. It doesn't matter how much you do. The, the, there's nothing more I want than for Toad to lose. Then for Toad to lose, it does. You guys could be donating a hundred dollars every time Toad wins. I'm still gonna make sure he loses. I mean, I appreciate your guys' uh, generosity here. My scores. Oh my gosh, my my rolls are absolutely abysmal here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can land on a happening. Nice. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, I can. All right, all right, all right. I appreciate you guys. It doesn't matter. You guys could donate four hundred bucks even if Toad wins. I'll still make sure he loses. I don't give a crap. He is going down. Bowser time is... Yo guys, I think I'm about to get destroyed by Bowser time.
That's okay. Ten stars is worth it. Boo-hoo, I get halved. Does it really matter? Let's be honest, you guys. Does it really matter if I get my coins halved? That's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's, it's okay. You guys ready for this? Okay, guys. Up or down? Which one do you think it is? Which one do you think it is, you guys? Pick your pylons and jump over the lava to the end of the line. That's a freaking test. It doesn't matter which one you choose, dummies. It doesn't matter. I could have chosen the up one and it still would have killed me. Or I could have chosen the down one. It, it, it doesn't even matter. Because it rolls a random generator no matter which one you're on. Because it's stupid like that. It doesn't even matter. Some of you saw through the ploy. <laughs> I should have listened. Yeah, right. How are you going to eat Toad when you can't cook? I'll eat the mushrooms raw. I will eat them raw. Doesn't matter. He doesn't deserve to be cooked. Also, I can microwave the mushrooms anyway, so I can cook. <laughs> How did this happen? Oh, roll a two. Give me another star. Oh my gosh, these guys keep... Oh, they have too many mushrooms. Too much. Not the food poisoning. I'll clean them and I'll microwave them. The Zykrowave, yes. <laughs> yes, I know I'll get an upset stomach. It's worth it. Toad deserves the pain. Ooh, he's getting the star out of this. I don't really like this. He skipped over my... God, they keep skipping past my pink mushrooms or pink... Pink mush... Pink booze. They keep skipping past my pink booze by using mushrooms. I'm upset at this. But now they have no more. They have to go over there where a pink boo is. It doesn't matter. I've eaten raw cookie dough before. It tastes really good, but it is so bad for you. So I don't do it anymore. Picture this, please. Yes! Yeah, I love Picture This. It's easily... I know it's a weird one to say, top five minigames. Picture This is one of my top five minigames. Because, like, when you're playing it with friends, and everybody's just like... Everyone's like, like, freaking mashing their trigger, and then everyone's like, yeah! and then they put it down, and then they don't get it right because they're one frame off. It's so fun. Like, it's just a really fun, creative minigame. I love it. Yeah, a non mic minigame. Yeah, who would have guessed? Okay, here we go. Is that it? No, that's not it. I was off by one. I looked at the trees. Oh, I'm so freaking good. Oh, that's all the way at the beginning. Easy W, wasn't even close. I have gotten so good at this minigame. You guys remember when I first played this minigame in earlier streams, I was like getting destroyed by the CPUs? Holy crap, I am cracked now. It's not even close. Three stock, the absolute sweep, complete annihilation, just like my coins are about to get annihilated here. It's not hubris, it's confidence, okay? There's a very big difference, all right? Look, arrogance is having an inflated sense of your skill in something. I have an exact sense of my skill in something. We good. We good. I'm pretty happy that Dry Bones was able to get the star so we don't lose our coins. You guys are right, you guys are right. Nothing fancy says Toad's legal team trademark doesn't appreciate your threats. Screw your legal team. I have the Zyke Federation on my side. You'll meet them at one point. The Zyke Federation. Much stronger than your petulant legal team. <clears throat> I sound like a Persona 5 villain. I gotta stop talking like that. Oh, not a three. Whoa, whoa. Oh, wait. Could be a single player. Give me a star. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, it's a multiplayer. One star for every banana. <laughs> Look at DK's face when I say that. One star for every banana. And Toadsworth is like, ah, I think that'd be a little unfair. One star for every banana. <laughs> okay, DK, I mean, if you say so. <laughs> I love DK's dude. DK has not a single thought behind his head there. There is not a single thought. Look at DK's face. There are no thoughts behind that skull. And we got the three, though. We got the three. I didn't even see! We got the three? And it's the luck-based one? Screw me! 
That was good. <gasps> that was also good. I'm just gonna keep holding left. Yo, I got the most! Along with Dry Bones, and then Daisy and Toad Tide. Yo! The Banana Spam helped out. Thank you guys, Banana Slammer. We love to see a monkey pot. Yeah, for real! We wish for a star, but we ended up getting three coins per banana. That's awesome! 41 Skeletons, Zoom's like, who did I date in Persona 5? Actually, for those of you that don't know, all my streams, I end up... I, I think I unlist almost all my streams. I have a playlist for all the streams. I did a streamed playthrough of the Ace Attorney trilogy, you know, the Phoenix Wright trilogy. I did a stream playthrough of Super Metroid. I did some uh, Strikers, some Golf. I did Bug Fables, and I did an entire stream playthrough of Persona 5 Royal. Uh, I chose Makoto at the end, if you're curious, but <laughs> thank you, Cole Grave. Uh, Zoom's like Night Ops team standing by awaiting orders. I will keep you in mind, Cole Grave. Next time Drain Gang makes their appearance, it's your time to strike. Super Shroom. Oh! There we go. Move him out. Move him out of the way. No, yeah, the Royal stream was very long. I don't blame you. I do not blame you for not watching that. It's over 100 hours. Another mic space. Haru was like my second choice, Afri, okay? Oil crisis again. Oh. Here we go, here we go. It's okay. Man. All right, I got it this time. I got it this time, don't worry. <clears throat> yeah, Mike Party 7, that's what we got right now. I am a man of culture, Brandon, don't worry. They're all very cool, they're all very cool. They're all pretty tough. Oh, Jesus, holy crap, I got baby bar. <laughs> now that we know that crap is left, Yo, I gotta, I gotta take this seriously. Okay, I'll win the mini game. I'll win the mini game. There's a very big difference between me when I'm streaming and playing and me when I'm like actually focused on this. So let's win this. Yes. <clears throat> right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Right. Left. Right. Left. Mushroom. Easy W. You'll love to see it. 2% of my power. I don't use it very often because I'm trying to talk and entertain you guys. With failures. Not necessarily that. Nah, that, that, that's the wrong wording. It's more like when you're commentating and you're playing a game at the same time, playing at your optimal skill level is kind of difficult. Some people are like that. I like to think I'm pretty good with that, though, although I might throw an occasion. <laughs> Thank you, Awesomers. With the Apollo Justice Trilogy being announced for release next year, will you play that too once it comes out? I'm gonna have to see. I'm gonna have to see if I want to do that on my livestream channel or if I'll do that here. I'll probably end up doing the livestream channel, but I, I do kind of want to do a, a stream every week. That's kind of what I'm aiming for. I'm sorry if I'm flooding your notifications with multiple streams a week. You know, please don't turn notifications off. I love you. All right. It's just, I want to get through the Mario Party 7 as much as possible because I have a lot of really fun streams I want to get to as well. I would be doing three streams a week, but that's too much. That's too much. And I want to keep the, I want to keep the streams relatively short and not like six hours plus like I did with, you know, other streams. Because I have a lot of fun ideas in mind that I kind of want to do every week. So it's all good. It's all good. No, yeah, they're, they're very fun. Now for the next move. We are at 10. Yeah, more content, how terrible. You love the flower orb. Oh, not the red bonus star. No, 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 I'm not doing three a, uh, a week. I'd like to do one a week. Can we roll a seven, please? Oh, nice 10. You love to see it? Oh, it's gonna freaking. Ooh, I love me some pink booze, though. I love me some pink booze. Amazing. Oh. Here it comes, you guys. It's time. Pink boo. 99 coins. You'll get not 198 coins. Sounds good to me. I paused it. I remembered.
I remembered. I remembered in time. Just all of a sudden, and I didn't even look at chat for it because I, I looking at looking at it now. Some people were talking about the pause, but like all of a sudden, this weird like thing snapped in my head and just forced me to pause. So it's like the monkey brain in my head it was like ook ook, and then just freaking. No, but as you guys can see here, you can't change it. You can't change it when you're right in the middle of it. Jeez. Uh, Holy crap. Okay. But now you guys see that. Now you guys see that. You can't change it. <laughs> Make you nothing fancy. Zyke, what's the best Mario game, objectively speaking? No pressure. Oh, you can't say objectively speaking. I freaking love Thousand Year Door. I love Super Mario RPG. I love Mario Party 3, Mario Party 6, just the whole Mario Party franchise. I love Sunshine. I freaking love Galaxy and Odyssey. You know what? Screw you. You don't get an answer. Yes. <clears throat> Apple. Grape. Strawberry. Orange. Banana. <laughs> Orange. <laughs> oh, I love doing that, dude. You owe it to yourself to play Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Like, I... I understand why some of you may not have played Thousand Year Door, because it's on the GameCube, it hasn't been ported yet. I get it. You have to promise me. When that game gets ported eventually, because it will, eventually, when Thousand Year Door gets ported, you have to play that game, dude. I'm not going to say it was like a god-given game, but it truly is a unique experience. At the very least, if only to say you played it, you know? It it's such a unique game. It's so stylish. The battle system's amazing. There's nothing I can say about the game that you probably haven't heard before, so I'll shut up now. It's awesome. Gets my, gets my uh, thumbs up approval. <clears throat> oh. Oh, very dangerous for you, Toad. Well, if he rolls double ones, then he'll get it, but otherwise he's going to be able to avoid it. Oh, let's see. Love me some freaking Thousand Year Door. I have not played Ghost Trick before. And the music's so good, too. Oh. So incredible. Oh! Check this out. Can't use the mic. The moment you land on the space, it disallows it. There you go. There you go, guys. I did it for me when I land on the space, and I did it for them, too. <clears throat> oh man good lord I got it I showed it to you both Super Paper Mario has the better story um I'm not really inclined to agree with that I think the characters in Thousand Year Door are miles better than the characters in Thousand uh, <laughs> than Super Paper Mario Thousand Year Door has chads, absolute chad characters like Vivian, Bobbery, the freaking, I don't, wanna, I don't even want to name all of them. You suck, Dry Bones. Meanwhile, let's look at Super Paper Mario's character lineup. Pixels. That's it. You got Pixels. I guess you got Peach and Bowser, but you also have them in the other games. You get Luigi in Super Paper Mario, but Luigi shows up so late into Super Paper Mario that it basically doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. But Thousand Year Door's characters, are, there's just so many to enjoy. Like, eh, the Count Black gang, gang is cool. I get it. The Count Black gang is awesome. It's just... The lack of interesting partners really holds it back for me, though. I do like to, okay, look, I'm just letting you know, I love Super Paper Mario, okay, don't make it, I don't want to make it sound like I hate that game. It's a very good game. I love the trilogy, I love the first three games. What was that? Oh, crap. We're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, they were, we were really far ahead there, did you guys see that? Three Piranha Plants. Like, don't get me wrong, like, 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 Super Paper Mario has a lot of great villains. I can give it to them on that. Thousand Year Door has some pretty good stuff going for it, too. There's a lot of really great stuff. I just like the setting of Thousand Year Door a lot more, too. Rogue Port's just really interesting. Wu Entertainment, did you know Super Paper Mario's story is based on an obscure story called Romeo and Juliet? I haven't, I haven't heard of Romeo and Juliet, huh? Thank you for the first Super Chat, though. That's awesome. I appreciate you. 
Uh, where to place this freaking pink boo? Okay, I... I'm gonna place the pink boo right here. I'm just freaking kidding you guys. I know, I know there's a star space there. <laughs> oh... <laughs> Oh, I landed on my own space. We're all good. We're all good. All right. Hey, Zoomzeg, which is bear for you? Thousand Your Door or Super Mario RPG? Why would you ask me that question? I think Thousand Your Door takes it just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. I love Super Mario RPG so much. It's so charming. You can play as so many different characters. Oh, it has Gino. You can play as Bowser and Peach. Oh, but like, I love Thousand Year Door so much. It's so stylish. Who did you date in Romeo and Juliet? I dated my <laughs> That's really funny. Nice bones, dry bones. You got some muscle on those bones. He's got the bulky bones. Good 2v2. Buzzstormer. Let's watch a fun mini game. Oh, not winging it. Okay. <sighs> Let's do it. Let's see if we can get 23 yards. 23 yards. Dear Zoom Zack, how are you doing? I'm doing amazing. I'm about to do a button masher. Oh, my hand! Oh, they almost beat me. Crap, I freaking pinched it. That was not good. It wasn't even a cramp, like I slipped and then I pinched my thumb. Whoever says Gino overrated obviously doesn't know how cool Gino is, I'm sorry. Your char your favorite character gets no diffed by Gino. Not actually. Probably not. I just need Gino in more games. He leaves such an impression for, such the, sh for, for the short game that he's in, you know? It's crazy. Alright. Let's... Okay, well, we won't know anything until we make our roll first. All right, now we can check here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's fine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We land on our own space there. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Ugh, I'm not really liking this right now. Uh, we can end up just going in a circle here, it looks like, because the star is going to get close to us anyways. All right. Once this star is attained... We're looking pretty good right now. We're looking pretty good. I am so happy Super Mario RPG Remake is coming out. If there are those of you that are on the fence and haven't played Super Mario RPG before and see that the remake is coming out and you want to know, oh, is it a good game? Like, is Super Mario RPG just some random, who cares? Play it. Please play it. it. It is... A lot of people will say that games are very charming. I get that, right? Some people will say, oh, Sunshine is a very charming game. I agree, Mario Sunshine is a charming game. I have not played a game that is more charming than Super Mario RPG. And I I use that word a little liberally because when I say charming, I mean that there are certain things you can do in that game that, that the game doesn't really expect you to do, but they have dialogue boxes for it. Like, there are certain things where... Like, uh, okay, one tiny Easter egg, right? Here, here's an example of an Easter egg. There is a hotel area, right, in Super Mario RPG that you can go to, that you pay to stay at, and a toad shows you around. He's like, here's your bed, here are the towels, here's the shower, right? Like, he escorts you as if you're going to an actual hotel. Now, if you don't have enough coins to pay by the end of it, right? Normal games would just say, oh, you have to pay what you currently have, or oh, give me an item, or, or you wouldn't have just been able to enter the hotel to begin with. They would say you don't have enough. But Super Mario RPG, if you don't have enough coins to pay for your stay, they make you work the same job that the Toad did, right? So he's like, oh, you don't have enough coins? Okay, you're the bellhop now. And you're forced to, like, wait at people that go into the hotel, right? You have to walk with them up the stairs. You have to show them around like the Toad did for you. <laughs> it's so cute. And it's like, and once you're done with it, he's like, okay, you did a good job. Why don't you see them out of the hotel? Your debts are paid. It's so awesome, like, and not many players are gonna see that. Not everybody will see that, but they put the effort to show you it anyways. And there's, I swear, there's so many little things like that in Super Mario RPG. There's so many of it. And it's like, if that's not charming, I don't know what is. And I'm not gonna like spoil more, right? Some of you might be 
thinking to yourself, okay, tell me more about it. Like, no. Like, there are so many little things like that where if you do things the game doesn't really expect you to do, characters will react and say things, and little events will happen that you get stuck in that are just so cute and fun to watch. I hope the remake adds more of them. Better yet, I hope the remake doesn't take some of them away, because some of these things are so obscure that I'm worried that if there's a new developer on it, they won't know to add it back. That's how obscure it gets, so I'm a little concerned about that, but hopefully everything will end up okay. You could play the original and then play the remake afterwards, but it looks like, crossing my fingers, that the remake is going to be a good one. It looks like it'll be a good one. Oh, one. Man, that's a bummer. Bowser's Inside Story is really amazing, too. I love me some Bowser's Inside Story. What turn are we on? 40 out of 50. We are 80% through, everybody. I think I'm going to demolish these guys, and you guys were worried about a one-star handicap. For those of you just joining us, every every CPU here has been given a plus one-star handicap. I should have given them a plus three-star handicap. They will definitely remove Peach's question marks, I understand. They totally will. What consoles do I own, and which is, in your opinion, the best one? I own, uh... Well, you know, funny you should say it, because people were here were talking about, uh, about Japanese. I have a Famicom. No, wait. No, no, no. I have a Super Famicom. I have a Japanese GameCube. I have, a, I think, a region broken N64. I have a regular GameCube, which I'm currently planning, uh, playing this on, an overclocked GameCube. I have uh, multiple Wiis. I have a Wii U, Switch. I have a Game Boy Advance, 3DS, and I have the newest 3DS XL. The new 3DS XL that's also Japanese. And uh, now I'm going to die. Next turn, by the way, for my coins. 1v3, no mic still. My favorite console that Nintendo's release is a tie between the GameCube and the Switch. <clears throat> I genuinely think the GameCube has some of the most impressive first-party Nintendo lineups that they've ever released. That they've ever released. Every single franchise of there gets something. Except Kirby. Which gets Kirby Air Ride, which is amazing. Don't get me wrong, but there's no, like, regular Kirby game. Oh, he's avoiding me. He's avoiding me, dude. It's so unfortunate, because the GameCube... I might get caught here. We're good, we're good, we're good. There we- Oh! Whoa! I'll get caught, just for you. Just for you. No! Oh, oh, I thought, I thought Daisy was gonna run right into him. No, the GameCube has a stupid amount of games. So many. Mario Party 4, Mario Party 5, Mario Party 6, Mario Party 7, Luigi's Mansion, Super Mario Sunshine, Mario Golf Toadstool Tour, Mario Power Tennis, you got Mario Superstar Baseball, Metroid Prime 1, Metroid Prime 2, and then I think you have like kind of a collection there going on, right? You have Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, Banger, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, Banger, Super Smash Brothers Melee, right? You even have F-Zero GX, the, the, the latest one there. Dude, it's crazy. There's so freaking many games. Absolutely insane. You have like stupid Star Fox adventures. You've got Animal Crossing. You got the Monkey Balls. You got Muppet Party Cruise. Sure. All my points. Oh. Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. I forgot. Banger. Four Swords Adventure. You got the Master Quest Ocarina of Time, right? Holy crap. Pikmin 1, Pikmin 2, you got the beginning of the franchises there. Shrek Super Party! <laughs> oh my gosh, all of my stuff. Double Dash! Mario Kart Double Dash, who could forget? Dude, so many games! Thousand Year Door! Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, Sonic Adventure DX, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, Shadow the Hedgehog, Sonic Heroes. If you're a Sonic fan, look how many freaking Sonic games are on the GameCube. It has some of the best ones on there. It's crazy. It is actually stupid how many games are on there. You have Battle for Bikini Bottom, like even like the SpongeBob games and stuff, right? Yes, the Pokemon, Pokemon Coliseum, Pokemon Gale of Darkness. There's so many that they're like popping out of my head. Sonic Riders is an amazing racing game. A lot of people like Sonic Riders. The Sonic Mega Collection, Sonic Gems Collection. It just keeps going. It just keeps, there's just, there's so many games. <laughs> The Mega Man Anniversary Collection, it's like... 
They even got some WWE games. Yeah, the Pokemon box Ruby and Sapphire. I don't think as many people had that. Donkey Kong Jungle Bee Mega Man X Collection. Yeah. Dude, it's just insane how many freaking games that there are. It is stupid. We're playing this game with this freaking GameCube game here. Kirby Air Ride. Oh my gosh. WarioWare Mega Party Games. Come on. Holy crap. Like, you want to talk about a, a Nintendo console that has games? The GameCube is the GameCube, dude. That, that is... It, it is so stupid how many games that thing has. But then the PlayStation 2 was like, DVD player. <laughs> and everyone else was like, oh. Or like the... No, 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 maybe not exactly that, but, you know, the player that it had. Everybody else loved it. Oh, he can't afford it. Ooh, get twistered back. You know what's really funny? It's, it's supposedly the GameCube had the better specs of the PS2. That is so crazy. And the PS2, the fact that the GameCube had to go up against the PS2 is so absolutely cruel. It is so unbelievably cruel that the GameCube had to go up against the PlayStation 2. Like, the PlayStation 2 had a crap ton of games, too. It had so many games. Stupid. Although, <clears throat> now this is my Nintendo fanboy coming out. I'm gonna pull up some stats here real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be angering some Sony fans in the chat real quick. But Sony fans, I want you to listen to what I'm saying right now, and I want you to tell me if I'm wrong. Okay, here we go. PlayStation 2 on Wikipedia, list of best-selling consoles. 155 million units sold, or it has like a little greater than sign, so it's probably more than that. Nintendo DS, 154.02 million sold. Okay, here's my take. I think the Nintendo DS is the true best-selling console of all time. The only reason the PlayStation 2 has more than the DS is because of the DVD player. That's my take. Alright, if you guys want to pose any arguments, feel free to. I think, as a game console, if the PlayStation 2 was purely a game console, I think the DS would be way higher than the PlayStation 2. That's the take. Alright, thank you so much. Oh, well, let's see here. 41 Skeletons, here's a fun fact. You know when someone lands on the mic space, you can't turn it off until the mini- Yes, I know that! You butthole. I don't think it's an unreasonable take. It's not a hate. I'm not hating on the PS2. It's pretty goaded. Alright. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you it's bad or anything. I love it too. But, I think it's fair to acknowledge the extreme advantage it had. Because, essentially, the PlayStation 2 was a cheaper DVD player than some DVD players. Or at the very least, you got more bang for your buck by purchasing the PlayStation 2. Right? That, that, that was a big reason why people were purchasing the PlayStation 2. Even if you weren't a gamer, a lot of households... Right? A lot of households bought the PlayStation 2, in essence, because they also got the DVD player with it. That was pretty much it. I only had a PS2 as a DVD player. Again, I'm not... Look, look. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that most people bought it for the DVD player. That's stupid. Not even 90% people bought it for the DVD player. Like, maybe like 1%, half a percent. It doesn't really matter, right? Like, it could be a huge amount, but the DS... Keep in mind, the DS, 154 million copies. 154, and the PS2 is 155. Are you telling me that there aren't at least 1 million people that bought the PS2 for a DVD player? No way, man. No way. I'm sorry. Uh, that's just... That's how it was. I'm in a good location right now. Let's roll high. Oh, 1% is still 1.5 million. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. You're right. No! Thank you, Rhythm and Temple, by the way. Counting collections and the GBA player. There are roughly 30 Sonic games on GameCube. Also, three coins per banana for the win. Yeah, oh, you saw that earlier. Heck yeah. And I'm away from the star. And nothing fancy. Zyke, did you know when the... You know what? Screw you. When the game, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna read the rest of it. Sorry, I'm not reading the I'm not reading the rest. That's okay. So in my heart, at the end of the day, my order goes Nintendo DS, then PlayStation 2. I know that's really salty. I get it. Technically, PS2 is higher, but they they kind of cheated. They cheated a little bit. A little they did some shenanigans. It's I'll give it I'll give it number two, and then Switch is number three right now. Cause Switch it, holy crap! When did Wikipedia update this? Wow. That's incredible. Am I able to... 
Am I able to screenshot that and then post that on my... Hold on a second. I'm gonna try doing something real quick. I don't know if this is gonna work. Okay, it didn't work. My bad, you guys. I, I thought I could maybe screenshot it and post it. <laughs> and, like, maybe show you guys right on stream really easily. Easily. Well, here, I'll... You know what? Screw it. Let's look at this together real quick, you guys. Let's look at some... Let's look at... Let's look at some stats. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add an image. I want you guys to look at this real quick. Alright, here we go. Check this out. This is the top 10, I believe I got. Here's the top 10. What do you guys think? This is what I'm referring to. So you see right there that the PlayStation 2 is at 155. This is what I'm talking about. We've got the, the DS at 154. <clears throat> we got the Switch at 129. It's crazy. Look at this, man. Nintendo's kind of killing it. Everyone always made it out to be how it was Microsoft versus Sony when I was younger, when in reality, it's always been Sony versus Nintendo. It's always been Sony versus Nintendo. Everyone's like, oh, Microsoft, Sony, my... No, it's always been between these two when it comes to the sales. I guess it's because they're kind of similar, right? Nintendo's kind of doing their own thing. That's kind of crazy, though. It's very interesting. Yeah, GameCube's not on there. I'm sorry. It's so bad. All right, let's get back to this. Not even any Sega. Yeah, Nintendo doesn't compete directly with Sony. You're right. That's a fair... It's a fair argument. People compare Microsoft and Sony because they encroach on similar territories. That's the main reason. They have more overlap. I, I won't I won't be stupid about that. But certainly when it comes to sales, when people are like, oh, what sells more, this or that? It's like, dude, Nintendo's killing you both. That Wii was crazy. All right. Didn't the Xbox do horribly in Japan? I'm not really sure. I'm unsure about that. I don't know that much about Microsoft sales in that sector. I know a lot more about Nintendo sales. <clears throat> the Xbox didn't do really well in Japan. I know that much. I did have an Xbox 360. I had a lot of fun with it. I played a lot of Halo 3. I love running people over in Halo 3. <clears throat> I was playing the Master Collection just the other day. Not the other day. No, no, no. Jesus. Holy crap. My memory. That was like months ago. I was playing the the Halo Master Collection. My favorite way to play Halo, and I always top the charts, is by using a vehicle and just running people over with it. I love running people over with vehicles in Halo. Just the Banshee and the Ghost, just boosting into people and obliterating their soul. Okay. The next star is going to be right above. I'm gonna head up then. Oh, I'm gonna be one space before it. What was the funniest? You know what's really funny though, is when I played the Halo Master Collection, I got a DM on Twitter. That's a pink boo, keep that in mind. I got a DM on Twitter that's like, hey, are you Zoomzag? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, you were running me over, over and over again. Good stuff. You know, I've watched your Identifying Lux series. You helped me beat up my friends. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, that's awesome. I'm just imagining me obliterating this guy in Halo, and then he DMs me on Twitter about how much I helped him. <laughs> about how much I helped him in Mario Party. <laughs> I was playing TF2 yesterday. I was playing Team Fortress 2 with my friends yesterday. And this one dude kept trying to snipe me. I was playing Sniper, right? And he's like, oh, I'm killing a semi-famous YouTuber. And I'm like, oh my god, he called me a semi-famous YouTuber. And then multiple people in the chat were like, who? Then I cried a little bit, and I'm like, well, I'm not there yet. <laughs> I'm not there yet. <laughs> my feelings, I'm like, okay. Because I knew in my heart, I knew in my heart. <laughs> I knew in my heart that no one would know who I was. But seeing someone who I snipe over and over again, they're like, I'm going to kill you. Oh, I did it. And everyone in the chat is like, this guy's delusional. Who are they talking about? And then someone in the chat was like, bro, no one knows who you're talking about. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, one day you will. <laughs> And then someone posted Nathaniel Bandy, and I'm like, no, not Nathaniel Bandy! Come on, man! It's like, oh! <laughs> Crap! Yes, we want DC to win this. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's, it's semi-famous. I'm like, one day. One day they'll know. One day they'll know, dude. 
they'll see it, they'll be like semi-famous YouTuber, then everyone in the chat will be like, Zoom Jaiko, my God. And then I'll be happy, and then I'll probably end up getting annoyed at the attention at some point. <laughs> but for now, but for now. Because then people target you at some point, so they see your reaction. <clears throat> Alright. It's called PS3 because it only got three games. Oh, that's not true, come on. Thank you, BST. But I don't know if that's true. I never had a PS3, though. Brandon, could you imagine you streaming a GTA game? I, I haven't played GTA, I'm sorry. Jeez, excuse me. All of his coins, that's nothing. Like, I don't think... I've, I've watched my friends play a lot of GTA. All of the, I've, I've watched them do a lot of heists in GTA. But I haven't played it myself. Battle? No. Me 68, Virtual Boy is the best Nintendo console. You know you're... I'm not even going to respond to that, honestly. You, you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing with that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. You guys want to see me do the strat again? Go. Why am I even asking? Of course you do. <laughs> Jumping does not slow you down, so you are free to spam junks, jumps as much as you want. I like the music here. The music here is nice. Alright, we will start moving over to the right. Very nice setup. Thirty-nine sixty-eight. Ah, it was like five cents a seconds or fifty milliseconds, whatever. Count a little slower. We still got it though. <clears throat> still got it. Yusha, did you know that the original Xbox, you have to have the DVD receiver in order to play DVDs. It won't even load without it. The PS2, you can play DVD out of the box. Well, there you go. There you go. I mean, the Xbox, that was its L. It didn't sell as bad as GameCube did, despite all the amazing games here. It's so crazy. We had, it is just insane to me, man. GameCube had so many games. Wait till the GameCube, it's not going to ever drop because the... The storage on these games is way too big, but can you imagine if the Nintendo Switch Online had GameCube games there? Oh, that'd be crazy. Anyways, the star is ours. And now, we can get the next one. We can get the next one. All for us, star for me. Oh no, wait, are we gonna land on... Oh. Oh man, would I pay extra for GameCube games though? Probably not. Let's be honest. I have my my, my GameCube right here. Uh, Super Mushroom, we're good. We good, we good. Can the Switch even run GameCube emula emulation? Of course it can. Super Mario Sunshine runs on it. Didn't I? I didn't people reveal that Super Mario 3D All Stars is basically just emulating Sunshine? It's not even like a full remake. It's just kind of like they just kind of plopped it in there. I don't know if that was just Nintendo slander or if that was actually true. <clears throat> All right, you'll get more coins. Good for you. It not being a product plant's fine. We're okay. Not the fancy. Hey, Zoomzike, did you know that the escalator was invented before the stairs? They simply turned it off. You know, stairs. <laughs> Have you guys ever been up an escalator? I thought that was multiple twos. I was about to crap my pants. No, he's gonna take it from me. Where are we? Okay, a few turns away. Have you guys ever been up an escalator that's broken? It's pretty fun, right? Because when you see an escalator that's broken, it's like, oh, it's just stairs. But have you ever gone up an elevator that's broken? That's not really as much fun. <laughs> well, this is okay. We're right before the junction, so we can detour to the star pretty quickly. And he managed to avoid the pink boo. Ah. That's okay, that's okay. Mr. Beat! Oh, nice one coin, nerd. Got an empty head there. Delicious. All right. 11 coins. 11 coins, 11 spaces. I'm losing my mind. How many turns we got? 44 out of 50. This has gone by decently fast. It's pretty good. I'm telling you, I, I knew Windmillville was going to be the hardest. I think we're good. I would have liked to have more stars than everybody else combined and stuff, but that's not going to be possible. They keep avoiding my pink boost spaces. I've placed down like three pink boost spaces and I've only gotten one steal off of it. This is why Neon Heights is so much better when it comes to pink boost deals. 
The weird thing about going up a broken escalator, escalator, is that you really disorient- Oh, you're really disoriented because you think you'll move, but you don't. Sometimes when an escalator is going up, I like walking down it. And sometimes when it's going down, I like walking up it. So I stay in the same relative spot. It's funny. Oh! Ooh! Easy strike by Zoomzyke. Let's go. Oh! Oh. Come on, come on. I'm the blue cursor. Okay, hold on. Homies, homies. Oh! Another strike by Zoomzyke. Come on, guys. Get one of them. I got all three of them. I got all three of them. That could have been a 1v1 minigame and I would have had that. Come on, man. You'll take the wrong escalator and... <laughs> I've gone up the wrong escalator in Coconut Mall on purpose. It's pretty funny. I got... That was a dual mini... Yeah, you're right. That's a dual minigame. <laughs> all right, all right. Five? I don't even know where the star is. Oh, duel incoming. This could really screw things up if she duels me. Good thing they're too afraid to duel me. There it is. The duel on Toad. If she steals the star from Toad, that's going to be even better. However, if Toad gets two stars from her, that would be very dangerous. I would not very... Uh, I would not very much like that. Royal Rumpus. This has a decent chance of ending up uh, as a tie. This could definitely be a tie. As we've seen multiple times in this minigame, they don't really prioritize getting the Golden Goomba. I guess we'll see what happens here. It doesn't seem like a very balanced dual minigame if it's from a 1v3. <laughs> no, yeah, you would think. Okay, here comes the Golden. Top right, is anyone gonna go for it? Daisy? They're even. Oh! That almost ended in Toad's favor there. Nope, ended up being a tie. They tend to get a tie because none of them really go out of their way to hurt each other or go for the Golden Goomba. The whole point of the Golden Goomba, I, I think, was so that players wouldn't tie. Right? That's the whole point of the Golden Goomba. What a dud moment. Alright. The star is over there. We can get that. Let's get over there. Eight. Very nice. Increasing our running star. Okay, I mean, mediocre. I'll check just in case. It's six, seven, eight, eight, nah. We'll land on her space if we do that, I believe. Easy star. And next turn is the Bowser stuff, which is okay, because we're moving the star right now. All good, all good here. It's not two stars in a row, I believe. I think it ends up going up, or... I totally forgot what the order was. Jesus. It goes down, but there's nothing down there, so it's going to go to the left? Yes, it goes to the left. Okay. <laughs> I had to, like, keep everything in mind. I'm like, okay, wait a minute. Okay, it goes here, it goes there, and then... Uh... Oh, Koopa Kid, why? Wahaha, nice going. You got a Koopa Kid orb, you freaking stupid. Bam. Oh, Koopa Kid could really screw some things up right now if he ends up swapping my... If he ends up swapping my coins with, like, Toad or Dry Bones, that would really suck. All they need is to duel me, take two stars from me, Okay, <laughs> just had to wait there for a moment. All they had to do was duel me, take two stars from me, and then now we're even. That's why it's scary here. Don't revolution. Don't bring that into fr uh, fruition. Alright, Dry Bones, what do you got? Mr. Beast! Okay. What a garbage roll. Can we see a uh, battle minigame? I'm kind of missing them. 1v3. Man. Oh, La Bamba. Okay. Let's hope I don't get killed this time. A star revolution? Who who said star revolution? Mario Party Battle Royale game? I don't even know how that would work. But a star revolution? That'd be stupid. That'd be dumb. I wouldn't like that at all. In order for there to be something like a star revolution, I would need... I would need a very specific set of items that would be extremely difficult to get. Like... Okay, you know, like, the Miracle Capsule in Mario Party 5? It would have to be something like that. Okay, get away from me, bob -omb. Jeez. Oh, gosh. Boo, move. Boo, move. Boo. Oh, not boo. Dry bones. I mean, sorry. Same person. It's okay. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. I can kill myself on purpose, right? No! Oh, darn it. I wanted to knock into the spikes. I wanted to knock into the spikes. I like getting rid of myself in the minigame or knocking myself out. And then making the other guy win. I didn't screw myself over by giving him 10 coins, right? I don't even know where the stars are because we keep talking about so many different things. 
star steel game. Everyone starts with five to ten stars. If you go to zero stars and get stolen from again, you're out. When you're the last player on your board, move to another board. Oh my lord. That sounds scary as crap. Down it goes. Oh. I forgot where do we... So that means... Oh. I see. Am I there? I, I think we're... That, that was the last Bowser time. I think we're good. I think we're good, homie. I think, I think we're looking pretty good. I'm going to be honest. I, I'll jinx it. I'll jinx it. Screw it. I think we're fine. I think there's absolutely nothing to be worried about. No head left. You can't head left. It's okay. What if there was a 2v2 board split in half? You have to cash in stars at a bank after grabbing them from the center, but your bank can be stolen from by opponents. Ooh, I like that. Like, any any more gimmick boards? I, I really like the ideas for Mario Party gimmicks. Oh, they still have that. They still have that. And then it's going to go down there. I need to make my way over. Wait a minute. No, it's better if I go right anyway so I can get to it first. I don't really like where I am right now, I'm going to be honest. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. That's okay, doesn't really matter. There's no more, uh... I can't... Oh, there is a pink boo, isn't there? Oh, that's right. I think I passed it though, didn't I? Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. Oh, thick roll! Holy crap, Toad! Maybe if you had some coins for the freaking star, that would actually matter at all. <laughs> I'm sorry, Toad, I'm being mean to you. Wow, he even made it there, too. Reverse Mushroom would be amazing here. Get its own board map, though. I'm not sure if I want it to have its own board map. Yo, my pink boo! Just kidding. Half the coins. Thank you, Blue Blue, for the donation. Imagine having a star swap. Wait, swap stars as a prize for duels. No, that'd be terrible. That's what's so terrifying about the earlier Mario parties. One could argue that the later ones here are more based on skill, such as mini games, right? Because you don't have swap stars anymore. Like, six and seven are pretty good about that. Six doesn't have swap stars, right? Pretty sure it doesn't. Oh gosh, I might be I might be misremembering. I'm sorry if I am. But yeah, without swap stars, you can prevent some absolute chaos from happening. I should have gone up. I should have gone up. I'm stupid. Yeah, it does. Okay, yeah. I should have gone up. Oh, no. Not in duels, though, yeah. Duels, it's different. Just duels you. <gasps> there we go. Give me the star. Give me the star. Give it to me. Regret. All the mine. Hey, hey, hey. You love to see it. You know what? Let everybody go there. In fact, for these... Did you, did you see the timing on that? Not only did I manage to get it to play when the thing paused, but Bowser, like, sniffed the moment it was done. That was really cool. <laughs> I've never, I've never seen... It, it didn't even play it right there. How did I do that? How did I do that? What? What's the timing on that? Was that like a frame perfect thing? I've never seen that before. Yeah, someone clipped that! That was awesome! That was crazy. Post that in the Discord server if you can. I'll take a look at it later. I do have a Discord server, by the way. I think most of you guys have already joined it. It's in the description. Wow! Yeah, our chances for a MOBA party game have been ruined. Good. Clip it and ship it, yes! Hopefully I can win this minigame. Oh my gosh. There's no point. Whatever, man. Okay. I got that from Toad. All right. No! I needed one more! I needed one more! I needed one more! It wasn't identified! He got stunned! The drop was right! It was inches away from my freaking... The, the, the pot! It was inches away from my pot! Ah! I'm so sad. 
Blah, you lose it only have a few turns. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Mr. Bowser, I don't know what just happened to you, but you know what? Here we go. Oh, this is boring. It is boring. Look how uh, this is a freaking sweep. You're so lame. Spin Bowser's wheel of fun. Triple. That's it. You're lame as crap, Bowser. High rollers. I get even more coins. Koopa Kid's dead. All right, what do we got here? Deserve Toad W? No, no BST, please. Just you is okay. Dude, don't bring your friends along, though. I don't, I don't need the entire Drain Gang to start <laughs> praising Toad all the live long day. It's all good. He only has one supporter now. No! Screw you guys. Screw. Oh, wait. Yes. Yes, guys, it's possible. Guys, it's possible. I'm so sad. Why are they here? I jinxed it. They're all here to praise Toad. It's so over. Give me your stars. Just keep going in a circle. Keep landing on the pink boo. The pink boo payoffs. It's here. More steals. More steals. Yes. Can I reach 20 maybe? That'd be cool. I don't think I'm going to reach 20 though. I need to get three bonus stars and three more steals. That, that's very hard. There is no way. Five. Ooh, red space too. Nice, nice, nice. If I say to not do something, they will. Okay. Uh, don't not lose. Uh, don't not get the. Don't lose the game. I just want them to lose the game. Thank you, Drain Gang. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> yes, another one. Yo, the pink boo. Dude, this. These pink boos haven't been doing anything all game, but they are coming in clutch on the last four turns, last five turns even. Oh, man. Can we get up to 20? Can we get up to 20? They all must pay. All of you who have dared to commit sacrilege against me. Pay your taxes, look at Toad. Now go in a circle. You have not enough. No! Why would you throw the Tweester there? Now Daisy and Toad are gonna... Oh! They're gonna get blown away from the pink booze. This sucks. Where's he going? I think he lands on one of Daisy's spaces? Yeah, it's over there. You're gonna hear from the Toad lawyers about this blatant thievery? I don't think I will. I think Toad's gonna die next stream. Tomorrow stream, he's donezo. 20 coins. Wow. Too bad you have a solid one coin. That's it. Viloka, I don't even think you're a part of the Drain Gang. Why are you giving Toad a W? Just how many Toad sympathizers are in my chat? How many of y'all are here? I need to know. Uh-oh. Okay, I can't let Drybones get that. He's a bit more of a threat because he's able to go around in circles and maybe get the star, do some other stuff. You never know what can happen. Oh, let's see if we can get another perfect game. <clears throat> okay, I'm with Toad, I'm with Toad. Go! Wait, am I... I'm red and I'm, and I'm with Toad. Ooh, I almost got ground pounded. Okay. Got her off. All right. No! Ah, oh, he got one. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Gosh, it's so difficult to get perfect. You have to line things up in a very specific way in order to ensure it's perfect. Okay, we are... Dude, this is an absolute curb stomp. Nothing can go wrong here. Unless multiple duels happen and I lose multiple duels. Whatever, right? It was- this is crazy. Yeah, we got it two hours ago. We're good. Two? Oh, the Tweester. Come on, just throw her like- Don't throw her to me! Hi, Daisy. What's up? How's it going? <laughs> Two. Okay. Ooh, Golden Shroom. We can get more stars. Nice. What are we at right now? We're at 48. I have to make my way- If I can make my way with the Golden Shroom to the left island, 
on turn 49, I can get two stars. I will be at 17, and if I get three bonus stars, then I'll be at 20. That's kind of the goal right now. Because Toad's grabbing this one. So now... Oh, wait a minute. Wait, even better. I think that the next star spawn after this one is just right below it, right? I think it is. <clears throat> I think we're fine. Yo, okay, okay. Does Drybones have enough coins? I don't think he does. I th Daisy placed a spiny down there. And Toad just lost a lot of coins. He doesn't. Yo, if I get an amazing roll, I, I could potentially get three stars in a single turn. There is a possibility I could get three. I would need to get a fantastic roll for that to happen, though. I think I would need to get, like, a 20. Like, a 20 or something crazy like that. Maybe a 19, if I'm lucky. Sphere Factor? No, okay, good, good, good. Bumper Crop. I honestly didn't like any of the mini games that were on that selection. <laughs> I was not a fan of any of them. Yes, and if Dry Bones gets a low roll, we can do it good, too. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it, man. I'm gonna go for it. Let's see. End up with 20. Oh no! We both got unlucky! Okay, I'll get a potato. We just need one more potato. Oh man, we got really bad RNG. That's so unfortunate. Both Dry Bones and I... He's dead. Both Dry Bones and I pulled weeds at the very beginning, and they both pulled the exact vegetable that they needed. Man. Toad didn't win. It's okay. It's okay. Toad didn't win. Don't tell them. <laughs> Maybe they're just talking amongst themselves. They, they, they don't need to know. Where am I? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm down there. Is that enough to reach the star? Oh, it is. Oh, and she's not even to give me a star back. Darn it. Crap, man. I really wanted to get three in a row. That's okay. If we still roll... If, if we still do like a 20, then that should be fine. Gio Mio, thank you so much for the donation, by the way. Toad's Little League coach here. Deserve Toad W. Oh, that's right. It comes this way. Okay, wait. I have to go in a circle then. Holy crap. I totally forgot about the island thing. I'm dumb. That's right, because the left island isn't even... <clears throat> even if I get it on the right, the left island is not even present right now. I totally mixed up the island stuff. I don't know why, Geo, you're, uh, you're praising Toad, though. You're the very first Super Chat, right? First Super Chat of yours, and you're already praising Toad. This, is n this does not bode well. This does not bode well. It makes me a little scared for you. Super Shroom, let's do it. Daisy has been bullying Koopa Kid. Holy crap. Come on, give me a higher roll, please. Yes, please, please, please. Come on. Yes. Yes, that's a 20. Okay. We can go in a circle. Alrighty. This is ours. Oh, I just need them to lose another star. I just need them to lose another star. 49 to 50. Whew. I need to get a star and have them lose another star. Oh, next turn if I could just roll high enough. Hopefully I get some orbs here. Good orb. I have like a 20% chance, 30% chance of getting some kind of mushroom. Please, just give me some kind of mushroom. Any mushroom will do, except for metal mushroom. That's fine, that's fine. That's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then I can slow shroom. Oh, this is so it, you guys. This is so it. 207. Oh, yeah. This is happening. The 20 star dream is within our midst. It's within our grasp. I will roast the crap out of Toad when this is over. You betcha. You have my promise. How do I have such a commanding lead? Because they suck! Mainly Pink Boos. I think Pink Boos really helped out a lot here. I was able to ping. A big part of it, though, is that we learned the star cycle early. There is no hubris! It's okay! A big part of it is that we... Mr. Beast, by the way! Uh, a big part of it is that we learned the star cycle early. For those of you that were here during the first five turns of the game, it was absolutely huge that we knew exactly where to go in anticipation for the stars by learning where all the stars were. The fact that there were two stars in the bottom island, two stars in the left, and then everything was made extremely easy and close by to one another, it was awesome. Gio Mio, you're already a part of the Drain Gang? How many freaking imposters do I have in my chat? You guys are looking a little sussy. All right.
damage. Oh, that was a little slow. But it's okay, I still win those easy. You can still see, I like how you can still see segments of the Pokey like flying out at the very end there. That's awesome. Why are all of you guys making fun of my hubris? It's okay. No hubris alert. There is literally no way we can lose this. It's the final turn. I, I, I promise you guys, there's no way you could lose this. This doesn't mean anything, by the way. Look, she's dueling Drybone. She's not even dueling me. She's not even dueling me. It's okay. I mean, what is a way I could lose this? If, here, let me give you guys a path to my hubris, okay? To, to maybe it being a big deal. If Drybones win the, wins this, gets two stars, right? He lands on a dual space, gets two more stars from me, and then gets two stars from Toad, and then gets the bonus stars, then yeah, I guess there's a way to win. But, oh, Drybones has the good layout? Drybones has the amazing layout! Holy crap! Yo, Drybones kind of popped off there. Wow, Drybones, jeez. He got the best layout. I saw that. I saw that as it was going. He got triple war pipes multiple times in a row. But he would have to get like two stars in order for this to be feasible. Yep, nope. He got all the coins though. And there is no coin star. This game is hopeless for him. Hopeless. Brandon Williams, what do you hope for the future of Mario Party? Personally, I hope there's a launch title for Switch successor and Nintendo pushes it like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I'm upset that there was no DLC for... I I I'm kind of upset that there wasn't any DLC for Mario Party Superstars. I hope they just keep it with the formula that everybody likes and enjoys. That's all I want. Just keep the same formula, man. That's all you have to do. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We, we will roll a nine for hopes of landing on the happening. There's no reason to do the mic space. Who wants the mic space, you guys? There's no reason to land on the mic space, you freaking dunderheads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll land on the happening there. <clears throat> All right. You can't buy orbs in the last turn. Sorry, I'd like to help. I really would. That poor Goomba, man. That poor Goomba. There's no reason for happening? No, there is a reason for happening. There's a 1 in 8 chance of getting a star. 1 in 8 chance of getting a star. That's totally a reason. Instead of, I mean, Mike, I mean, we, we could multiply our coins and stuff. That's totally good. The 1 in 8 odds in our favor. We can do it. There's... Why not go for red space? Well, because a Mike... Okay, because a happening bonus star can happen just as often as a red space bonus star, so, you know. Let's see. Down. Down. And then another down. Let's go. <laughs> what? I, dude, I never win that. Yo, I can't believe it. Two stars in one turn. It's so easy. It's just that easy, you guys. It's just that easy. Crazy. Madness. The insanity. 18. Can we reach 20? Oh, I need two bonus stars to reach 20. If there is the minigame. Oh, this DK. Come on. DK. Blue Blue, you summoned DK by posting the DK emotes. <laughs> oh, single player. Okay, okay. Don't give him a star. Come on. You're splendid! This 1 in 100 chance! 1 in 100 chance! Of 100 stars! Yeah! Thank you, Peachy Peach! Thank you so much for Super Chat hype! I really appreciate it! Also, um... Why is your first Super Chat going for Toad? You realize that Toad is, has like zero chance of winning this, right? He has absolute zero chance of winning this. And then you say hi to me right afterwards. Look, I appreciate the donation. I appreciate all of your donations, but I'm not going to lie. Some donations are worth more than others, and I'm not talking monetary value here. Some of y'all, some of y'all got to go. Some of y'all are on the wrong side. You guys are on the wrong side of history. DK died. Thank you, though, Peachy Peach. I appreciate it. <laughs> Good job, Toad. You got 20 coins. Cool. Let's just move on to the real stuff here. Move on to the real stuff here. I really hope I get 20 stars. I really hope. I hope. Roll a high one? Roll a high one? It's time. 
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, it's too far away. What'd you land on? Thank you so much, Marissa, for joining the Zyke Editor Fun 2-star edition. I really appreciate it. The 2-star Editor Fun. Yo, that's crazy, dude. I really appreciate it so much. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Then we got Crack Lion too. Thanks for all your great Mario Party 7 content. Really looking forward to Mario Party 8 next. Yes, I want to try and get Mario Party 8's Identifying Luck out. Not within a year this time. Because I've been releasing Identifying Lux a lot later. But like, I'm, I'm, I'm on the content grind, dude. I love doing this. I realize how much I love doing this. So I'm just going to keep going for it. And now we're doing Balloon Busters. Mario Party has a lot of wacky stuff though. I can't wait to show you guys some of it. Here we go, guys. You guys know what to do. It ends on a mic mini game. I know how it be. Oh, bigger, 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 bigger. There we go. There we go. That's good. And I do let you guys know, because like some of you might be assuming, just so you guys know, before some of you decide to leave or whatever, this isn't the last four we're gonna do. Remember, tomorrow we have a stream together. We have a stream together where chat is going to play with me on the minigame modes. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Bigger. Bigger. Stop. I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna stop there. I feel it. I feel it. Oh no! Why'd you only do one? Dry bones, you're insane. Daisy? Okay, okay. Bigger. Stop. Oh my gosh, please. No! Why is Toad the only one doing one? Oh my gosh, it's still going. Oh my gosh. Bigger. Oh gosh, that jump scared me. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Okay, but again, friendly reminder, we are going to do more boards uh, next week, and that's when chat's going to be playing with me, but we're going to train the chat, all of you guys, tomorrow when we do minigame mode. So don't leave just yet. Don't leave just yet when we do the super, when we find out the superstar. We'll go over it and I'll redirect you guys. Here we go. 18 stars! Holy crap! Wait, if I get all three, then I will have more than everybody. Well... Yeah, I'll have more. I'll have the same amount of stars as everyone. All right. It's never mini game. Okay, shopping. I still have shopping. Come on, I have orb star. Your homie, your homie got the orb star, right? Yes, yes. We so got it. Oh, we're so in. We so got shopping too. I paid for so many pink boos, just give it to me. Why Why are you even... What's going on here? Come on, why are you even trying? <laughs> okay, I don't know if we have this one, though. Red space. Red space. Drum roll. Oh, it's not me. I'm so sad. Maybe if I did land on that red space, it would have been fine. Guys, who do you think is going to win? Who do you think is going to win? Toad was absolutely boned. Now, it's obvious I won... But I'm very interested to see what the stats are this time around, and you'll see why. Toad! Oh, never mind. Front-facing Yoshi can't hurt you. <laughs> Front-facing Yoshi. Easy W. Holy freaking bananas! That was a crazy game. Look at this! Look at them! Look at Dry Bones! Look at his face! Oh! Oh my gosh! 20 stars! That's like one star almost every other turn. That is insane. What a crazy game. Okay, let's take a look at this. We absolutely crushed the minigame one. Absolutely crushed the shopping one. The orb one we crushed. We didn't have running. We didn't have red space. We didn't even have happening. I should have landed on the red space after all, it looks like. And then when it comes to the coins, look at the coins here. Look at how many coins I have up here. And everybody else is around the same. And then the star amount. Absolutely crazy. Thank you so much, Gagum, Sightnado, and 41 Skeletons. Thank you so much for all the donations, you guys. I really, really appreciate it. I'm sure some donations are going to come in some more. But again, tomorrow, 
Everyone's gonna play 1 p.m. All of you guys are gonna be controlling the same character and we're gonna be playing some mini games together. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna end it. I have a Twitter, feel free to go follow. Thank you so much, Taimi Hime, so much. I appreciate you guys a lot. Make sure you hit the bell so you can get notified. I wouldn't want you guys to miss out on that. Some people were upset they missed out on the last chat interaction one because they left too early, but this time you guys are here. So farewell.